Hello, dumpies. Welcome in. We're playing Supermarket Sim today, I think. Uh, hopefully, we actually get a, a good thing going. Um, my channel, my, my plan today, Chad, is we're going to undercut every single supermarket in the game possible. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try and undercut every single, every single price that we can. We're going to see how cheap we can go. And that's it. That's all we're doing today. Okay, yes. Forrest Gump haircut. Thank you. Welcome to Supermarket Simulator. You'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Have I played Big Ambitions? I have not. Start by purchasing goods to sell and place them onto the shelves. Don't forget to set the price with a profit to avoid bankruptcy. You guys probably... If you guys have never seen me play simulator games, because I'm guessing a lot of, a lot of you guys are new... Um, we used to play a lot of simulator games back in the day. Back in the day, we used to play a shit ton of these, right? And basically, they're all kind of the same. A lot of these games are kind of the same thing over and over again. Uh, they're like kind of just what they say on the tin. Can I get run over? Can I, can I get hit by a car? They're like these, uh, I, I guess, Unity made simulator games. Oh, we're waiting in traffic. Okay. Um... This is the type of game we're playing. A fun game. Asset flips? Not really, because asset flip implies that they've done no work. This game has had work put into it, just not maybe the best type of work. But the type of games that I love, I personally really like janky, shitty games. The more jank the game, the better. Anyways, we've uh, went back to retail life. And now, we are uh, working our ass off chat. We're working 9 till 5, okay? You guys don't understand the struggle that sometimes I have to deal with, yeah? And this is gonna be a good visual representation of how much work I have to put in on a daily basis. <laughs> should we make Tesco's? We should, right? Change the volume. No, I can't, I can't change any of the audio settings. Great. Interact, boys! My work is 9 till 11. Yeah, two hour work, dude. Now, I'm not gonna call the shop 7-Eleven with a 9 in the front of it. Shut up, dude, okay? All the goods using your computer. Market? What do we want to sell? I I personally think we should only sell, like, cigarettes and alcohol. Obviously, for now, we have to sell, like, sliced bread and shit, right? But, like, you know, maybe in the future we just, we just sell, just sell oil. <laughs> okay, let's try that out. Just oil? Okay. I don't have enough money for that. What the fuck, dude? I'm broke? Why would you try to set up a supermarket when you're broke? What's that all about? Alright, let's get two oils. Call a shop John Fallout. <laughs> I mean, I have enough money to buy sliced bread. Fuck it, no, 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 no that's fine. I, I'm, I'm okay with this, I'm okay with this. We're just gonna sell oil. That's fine by me. That's fine by me, dude. Uh, how do I op open? Uh, place. This interaction doesn't lead to any kind of fallout between us. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas. Sorry. The timing was off my bed. Holy shit. Is that the price of the product? So we're gonna undercut everyone, right? Set price. Market price four fifty. Price is one fifty, so we have a market of three dollars. So we wanna set this to like How bad are we thinking? Are we thinking like Tesco value? Walmart? Are we thinking, you know, we are we thinking? Aldi. Little. Maybe Netto, if we go that far back, you know? Maybe those cheap... With, I'm thinking maybe £2.50. Now, to a lot of people, that's confusing. $1 markup? That's not a lot, of dude. What if we sell 50 bottles of oil a second? Uh, <laughs> do you want to see if this works? There's a Netto in the UK? Yes, there is. We undercut severely, Chet. We undercut so bad, they have nothing else to do but to buy our products. They can't go anywhere else. What are you gonna do? You gonna buy the bread for 150 at the shitty store? You gonna buy the bread for? F oh shit, we have a customer. Yes, sir. Oh, is that two oil, sir? That's two oil. Okay. Um. I do not miss this job. I can fucking tell you that much, Jed. Holy shit! How do I finalize the product? The, the sale. Space. Easy. Uh, we're probably gonna need some music for this, because uh, there's no in-game music. You guys okay with some chill music in the background? 
get, should we get like, uh, just some Civilization Six music might do. That's perfect. All right. Uh, one take, takes his card. How much am I charging him? Two fifty. Oh shit. Two pounds fifty. Thank you, sir. Please have big anime titties. Hello, Jobbo. Thank you, Lord. Stuff, bruv. Kiss the alien for me. Kiss the alien for you. No. No. I will never put my lips on an extraterrestrial life force ever again. Last time that happened, things didn't go so well, so... You know, I ain't doing it again, Chad. Are we gonna sell out of oil at this rate? Holy shit. How much change you want? 40 47! Fuck off. That's messed up. Can I kiss the vault boy? Hell no. Can you play Doom or something, music? You want Doom? You want the Doom music? Okay, you want Doom? Okay, alright, fine. I can do- I could do that. Fuck it, dude. I can play the Doom soundtrack. <sighs> I just hope it doesn't get too crazy. I'm gonna buy some more oil. <laughs> are we- are we playing the game wrong? That guy got like four oil, holy shit! Uh, that's five dollars, thank you, sir. Uh, no change for you. Alright. We're, we're doing this as fast as we can, Jet. Speedrun. Maybe we should up the price. I feel like just selling oil might actually not be the plan. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe we commit to it for now, okay? What is that? Oh, shh. <laughs> Come back, sir. Um, how much change you want? Fifty. You guys wanted the Doom soundtrack, right? Does this work? I don't. Um, what is going on with the products? There it is. Market. There's no products available. Oh, I'm searching. For <laughs> Did you see? I was accidentally searching for it. Come on! This keyboard support? I don't you Dude, I've never worked with a keyboard in that manner before, so I'm not gonna be able to use that, okay? That's like keyboard support is if you like you're um I guess that actually no, I guess you're right. I I, I was thinking about the the you know how like some people use the mouse the mouse not mouse. The numpad. That's what I'm thinking about. The numpad. I always find people that use the numpad tend to be cracked, you know? They tend to be so cracked at that shit, but like... How? How? Selling ingredients for mustard gas? Is this what you guys wanted? <laughs> Is this what you guys wanted? Huh? This- this is the gameplay. Turn this shit up, dude. Fucking- What's that, you- Oh, you listen to metal music too? Yeah, me too, man. We sell so much cool oil. <laughs> Should- <laughs> Price is so low. Should we- <laughs> This is gaming. Dude, look at that. That does not make you like. <laughs> Just put malevolence on. The the problem with malevolence is that they've got lyrics. It doesn't really work as easy. Double the prices and give them to the next person. Okay, one in the chat. If I should keep the pr everything the same. One in the chat. If I keep should keep everything the same. Two in the chat. If I should sell other things. Three in the chat. If I should just up the price. 
Okay, nobody wants me to keep doing the same thing. Are you sure? I, I kind of want to just sell oil. I don't, I'm okay with this. Just up the price of the oil. Dude, this guy is buying so much. Holy fuck. Damn, we just made $10. Yeah, Yo, maybe, uh, yo, mod, shoot that guy, please. Maybe we should sell some more things. Or maybe we'll up the price for now. Okay, I'll up the price to $4. We're just gonna undercut everyone. What's he doing? I don't- We don't question it, dude. $2.50. Thank you. Do we go- Do we- Do we switch music yet? Or- Like, cause at some point we're gonna switch to Animal Crossing, right? For the rest of the stream. We're gonna switch, like, over. Also, let me move the chat real quick. No, no, no. Okay, fine. All right, fine. Cheers, chat. May may you have a great day. Recommend SNES Sim City to OSD. Okay, everyone, shut up. SNES Sim City OST. All right, hipster doofus. Uh, let's see if I like you based off of this. Damn! Oh shit, we're up to eight, eight, 92? Can you scam people with a card reader? Can I scam people in general? What if I give it like 45 pounds? Oh, there's no. Oh, they're not too happy with that. Am I gonna turn on the lights? Nah, I, I say we go back to the... Alright, here we go, Chad. <laughs> Is this what you guys want? Just keep selling oil. So, are you sure? We can't just keep selling... Just keep selling oil! One second, bitch. Two seconds. We are the oil shop. It's kind of, I mean, I feel like this is probably the most- the best way to start a business, right? People come in, they know what to expect. Maybe this is how all the oil industry start, you know? This is how you become, you know, BP or British gas. Can I- closed after 9pm. Oh, dude, cringe. Press enter to finish the day. If you keep this up, the US government's gonna be knocking at your door. It's fine, dude. What are they gonna do? Arrest me and put me in Guantanamo, Guantanamo Bay. I can't even speak. Guantanamo Bay. Is it Guantanamo Bay? It is, right? Alcatraz. No, please. Big spender. Hoo dude, we just need that one guy to come in and buy like a hundred dollars of oil, you know? Okay, Chad, are we switching over? I'm switching over now. No more Doom. Okay, it's too fucking much. Alright, you know what? Unreal Tournament 99 Atmosphere Mix. And you guys fuck with Unreal Tournament? I remember playing Unreal Tournament on my, um, on my PC. Back when I had, like, a proper... No? You want the Doom music? Okay, fine. Fuck it, sorry. Fuck, sorry, my bad. Is there a famous prison in the UK? I mean... Probably, but the UK sucks, man. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even allocate any of your mental time to it. Bank. The Tower of London? That's like it's not I mean Tower of London hasn't really been a prison in fucking yoinks, to be fair. Alright, let's end the day. I need to blow my nose. Jasmine, mayhaps I get a tissue, please. We lost eleven dollars. Oh shit! How would you know? Um, you received daily bill. Thank, you, thank you. I thought you were gonna throw it at me. What? Yeah, I was finished them like yesterday. Australia. That's funny. 
You'll receive daily bills! Starting today, make sure to pay the bills using your computer before they're due date or they'll be paid automatically. Thank you, sir. The more electrical devices, the more expensive the bills. Okay, let's get some more fucking stuff to sell, boys! Do we expand or do we keep buying oil? Have I lost weight? I've lost a lot of weight, yes. Yes, I've, I've actually lost so much fucking weight since, like, October last year. It's been crazy. Uh, I was actually looking- you want more oil? Perfect. Perfect, Chad. D no, also, when- when it comes to losing weight, in- in, like, recently? Not really, I've just had a haircut, and- I <laughs> look- it looks terrible, please. I'm a lot slimmer, yeah. Just a little bit of exercise every now and then, Chad. Nothing crazy. Just over time, helps you lose weight. Also, I was, like, sick for, like, a good- like, couple of weeks as well, which does also help, but I don't advocate for it. Let's open up, boys. You ready? Here we go, gamers. It's gonna be a fucking hectic day. I just realized this is not gonna be good for the VOD channel. Let's, um... Do you guys wanna listen, like, the... To, to if you like pina coladas, <laughs> instead of the doom music's going, the doom music's going. I'm making the decision. I'm. It's so shit. It doesn't even work, and you guys know it doesn't. Shut the fuck up, okay? We're we're becoming a standard little soft car YouTube Twitch streamer. Hey, chat. Welcome in. Today we're gonna be playing a little bit of you know. <gasps> A customer! Free! Oh, you, you wouldn't. That's so kind. Not stimulated. I'm not stimulated enough. All right. Um, what about what about Diddy Kong Racing? That's like stimulating, right? <laughs> Let's go, I guess. What is, can people steal in this game? Is that a thing? I'm not putting the Doom music back on and I can't play Venga Boys. <laughs> play Jellyfish Sting. Do I have a card skimmer? Can I get one of them? Uh, purchase product license using computer. Management. Product license. Purchase the license to be able to sell the products below. B bottled water, cheese, coffee, eggs, milk, and tea block. Damn. It kind of sounds like a lot of products I don't want to sell. I'm not gonna lie. Wouldn't I, wouldn't I rather be here selling oil? Just, I don't know, dude. Oh, shit! Ali Zan, thanks for the prime, and thank you, Crayball, for the prime, too. Appreciate it. I'm moving this over. There we go. This is a very pre-recorded stream. Yes, everything on the stream is pre-recorded, dude. The coffee's a moneymaker. Okay, do we sell oil and coffee? I feel like that's fair. Oil and coffee, right, Chad? Dude, I don't know what a tea block is. Time to expand the inventory. Sell your body. <laughs> Flour for the coffee? Should we just sell, like, the most stupid shit? We should just sell, like, alcohol, cigarettes, oil, coffee, <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Don't sell anything, like, cohesive. Hey, man, do you have, like, a Red Bull and a sandwich? Hey, get the fuck out, man. We only sell coffee and alcohol in here. Flowers and oil. You have a long way to go for booze? <laughs> What's the last thing I can sell? Wine? Level 90? <laughs> Level 90? Dude, what the actual f Oh, sorry, were you here to buy oil? My bad. Jesus. So many customers, chat. We had like pff, running. We had a whole queue. All right, time to do some spins around the room because we've got nothing else to do. All right, here we go. We're going in for lap two here. Looking pretty good. Gonna get a nice little lap record. That's looking pretty good, actually. That's a new lap record of the day, but looks like lap three might actually be a little bit faster here. Oh, but that slip up at the end. Not looking good. 
Lap four is looking pretty good here. He's getting the... Oh, that's actually not a bad lap. Lap five, he undercuts the corner. Looking pretty smooth there. Going around the bend. Gets through the gap. Looking pretty good here in lap six. Going into the final lap here. Lap seven. Can he do it? Can he finish off the race in first place position before a customer sets front of the store? Yes, he can. One. <sighs> Whatever. One. Like, who comes into the oil empor emporium, you know? Who comes into the, the, the oil centric central... <laughs> what well, is this, like, the M&M store for oil? And you buy one? That makes no sense! The Grand... Instead of the Grand Budapest Hotel, the Grand ho like Oil Hotel. I'm just saying, dude. Can I kill them in this game? I wish. Also, we'll be continuing um, Fallout Roulette on Sunday, by the way. Uh, we're just not doing it today. I wanted to do something chill. I, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I was like, I want to do something chill today. It'd be fun. Is it supposed to be this slow, by the way? Or is this just because I just don't have any other products? Storage. Holy shit, there's so much. Let's buy some more. But Jabbo, no, you can't just keep buying oil. It's not a good idea. Chet! Do we buy more oil? Or do we save it for coffee? I think we save it for coffee. Coffee's the money maker. Fuck this. We save it for coffee. We save it for coffee. We save it. We're gonna have one coffee, one oil shelf. Agreed. Agreed. Shaking it. Every shelf has to be one item. All right, chat. We're shaking it. Each shelf has to be one item. One item. I have one item per shelf. And I get to pick the stupidest thing ever. Do we? We're shaking on this? Okay, fair enough. I, I, I agree with that. Am I gonna get, like, used to the, the value of each of my product as the more I play this game? Almost like I'm just working at Tesco again. <laughs> Putting one oil on each shelf makes it. You guys never had oil and coffee before? That shit's a banger, Chet. I'm trying to make a new wave trend, you know? New diet fed. Oil and coffee. I'd probably do- I'd probably do wonders for your body. I mean, actually, no, realistically, it'd probably kill your insides, but, I mean, you'd lose weight. And I feel like, you know, that's kind of what our motto is. Here at the... Supermarket- When do I gotta change this? I don't wanna be called the supermarket. There's so many cool names we could come up with. Hello, young lady, hello, young lady. Are you coming into my great emporium of oil? Yeah, that's right! Let's yes, that's- say, Let me get a Hypothetically, I yes. am a Barbie girl. Yes, okay, in a Barbie. let's even say I'm in a Barbie world. Hypothetically. Right, so, in this scenario, <gasps> I would know from personal experience that life in plastic is fantastic. Right. Wouldn't it be reasonable to assume you could brush my hair and undress me everywhere? I mean, hypothetically speaking, if you live in a plastic world, you know, and, you know, I could brush your hair and brush it everywhere, and undress you everywhere, but... Wouldn't your hair also be plastic, too? I mean, I don't know how that would feel, but, you know, hypothetically speaking, that is, Reapin. Thank you so much for the, uh, 41 months. And Kraypol! Thanks for the Prime, too, and s I don't know if I can say your name, because the first half of your name I don't like, but Mr. Goon, thank you for the Prime. I do appreciate that. I would consider changing the first half of your name, though, but, okay. <laughs> oh, Gabby! Thanks for the five! Every fucking time! I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Kami, for the five community gift subs. Everyone in chat, fuck you. I hope you got a good one. <sighs> All right, we close up. There was a customer there, but we close up. Do I, did I make any pro- oh, oh, oh. Big bucks, boys! Uh, run sliced bread and cereal has went- Okay, I can see the price change. Uh, we need to just start. Open the day. Open. Should we buy- we, We'll buy- No, no, we save. We save up. I just realized, this is kind of risky, because what if oil goes down in price? Oh, like, you know, what if, like, there's a, another war, and oil just, like, you know, what if... <sighs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out, Chad. We'll figure it out. I need to buy more oil. We're nearly out. Um, let's get a big shipment of oil. The more shelves I put it on, the more likely they are to reach to the next shelf and grab another one, you know? I don't know, it's like... 
the 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 psych psycho Decided analyzing <laughs> therapy of what are purchasing they do? things. Tax I don't know. More? Customer came in today. Wanted yes. to return glasses he bought in February because the screws came loose. Yep. Glasses, as in like glasses he was wearing. Can't you just fix the screws? I literally have- I, I have this- Don't- don't people who wear like glasses all the time just have like a set of like glasses? Like screwdrivers? I have them! What the fuck? Thanks for the eight months, man. Diamond hands? No, we don't set on our hands. We do it. We keep going. Holy shit, boys! Oh wait, you guys can't see that. You guys want to see my achievements? Properties... There we go. Oil belongs to me now, Chad. I own all the oil. You can get those? Yeah! Tighten the screw- Like, the, the way I think, if, if I'm wearing glasses and they come loose, right? I don't want to have to go into, like, the opticians to get them fixed. Oh, shit! Uh! Sir, please! Please! Oh my god, I was stuck at the front of that fight! No! I'm gonna lose out to so many sales! <laughs> Just in time, huh? Just in fucking time. Next guy. Why one? Why one oil, huh? Why one? Why Why don't you- why, Come back, why don't you come back into my, my fucking shop, huh? Come back in my shop, bitch! James Bond looking ass, why don't you go, go buy some more? Huh? Fucking hate people. I nearly got killed there. Yeah, I got an achievement for selling- Well, let me see what the achievement was. Two seconds, dude. Um... Complete 50 checkouts. Oh, that's kind of like base game and stuff. Ooh! I had an idea, by the way, chat. How you doing, Juve? Um, and I think I'm gonna do it. I enjoyed Fallout 4 VR. I got it all working. I fixed it. I uh, got the chat working. I got I the controls fixed. I absolved myself of my sins. It was great. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got it all fixed. Would you guys be down for a week where we just played Fallout 4 VR nonstop? Non-stop. With one specific challenge. It's gonna- this is gonna sound horrible. All... Achievements. I feel like- I feel like we could do that in a week. I feel like we could do that in a week. In between now and Fallout London, we could do that. I would hate it, but I think it's possible. Not in one sitting. Not in- no, it would have to be- all Fallout 4 VR achievements in a week. But I think it would be doable. And with, <laughs> with the controls working, it would at least be like enjoyable for me, so. You guys, I, I will regret it, but after Fallout Roulette, um, depends on what we're doing there. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll probably go insane. But I was sat down yesterday thinking about it, and I was like, dude. I was like, dude, that would be, that would be the worst. You know it would be the worst if I had to do Fallout 4 VR all, all achievements? And I was like, but I would watch it. Yes, but no teleport function allowed. Mm, I don't know if I'd accept that. I'd have to be able to use whatever system I want. Couldn't find run slice bread. Yeah, maybe cause maybe, 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 maybe. I'll tell him next time. 92, dude, this guy's rich. Sorry, am I not fucking good enough for you? <laughs> do it in one sitting. Hey, Smith. 2411. Do it in one sitting. How about this, dude? How about this? You do it in one sitting. No? Oh, does sitting down and playing Fallout 4 VR for like 50 hours straight not sound good to you? Because you can't do the glitches that are in the Bears game? Jabo hits chat. About time you guys realized. I do. I fucking hate you guys. I'm not even gonna take that back. I'm putting my foot down. Don't know why. Cause you guys have been giving me so much shit for my fucking haircut. Buy me a VR and I'll do it. Dude, you can't do it. You've got a job. <laughs> you couldn't do it. You'd you'd lose your job trying to do it. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. This is an oil emporium shop. You. Well, oh, he knows where he is. Never mind. This guy. This guy. Respect. He knows where he is. Oh, fuck you. 
License. Quick. UK license. Uh, no, not bank. Oh, I can take out a loan. Holy shit. Should we, we should take out... We should take out a loan, right, Chad? You know, bit, loans are good. We can now sell coffee. You guys okay with me selling coffee, right? I'm okay with it. I think it's good. Important, actually, for the business. The hacker doesn't deserve this much shit. I'm honestly okay with it. It just suck. It does kind of suck when it's like the first thing I see when I start stream is like, Oh, dude, haha, his haircut again. <laughs> but it is what it is. Coffee is cash crop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Where's the coffee? Was it 50? 60 quid? 60 dollar dues? Alright, the shop's open for another hour, so hurry the fuck up. Alright, no one's coming, so whatever. We'll just, oh, I can't close it. Okay. Can I just do that? No. Coffee. Coffee. You know what? I am taking out a fucking loan. Your hairline is fucking offensive. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you. When are we gonna start, like, mods? When are we gonna start, like, timing people out for saying horrible shit? <laughs> Um, return payment, 20 days? I don't know, maybe, maybe we should take out a loan. Maybe. You have a fucked hairline too? I don't have a fucked hairline, that's the thing! I just don't have a hairline that's down fucking here! Purchase a fridge to put your oil in? Maybe. Okay. Fuck me! I lost so much money. I'm so broke. Open this shit up. Purchase a fridge or shelf. Go fuck yourself, dude. Did I beat Fallout Roulette? No, we're going back to it on Sunday. We're just having a little bit of a break right now. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing can go fuck itself. I'm just gonna put this music on. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Show streamer then? No, it's way worse. Way fucking worse. My dent looks horrible. Is my shop not open? Holy fuck. The dent pulls the hairline back. Probably true, actually. You got timed out? Yeah, for saying my hairline is atrocious. That's kind of fucking horrible, dude. Push the dent. I think if I push the dent, I'll die. If I push in my dent, I'll actually like just instantly die on the spot. <laughs> I need 16 more dollars to buy my coffee, please. To be fair, who doesn't have a gamer dent? I feel like everyone has a gamer dent. Like it's, um, it's my baby spot. Yeah, my baby soft spot. Push, push it in so it pops back up. <gasps> Look at that fucking car! Yo, yo, sir! Sir, I'm selling I'm selling oil over at that shop. Oh, I got a customer. My bad. How much are you buying? <sighs> fucking one. I hate when they Ooh shit. <laughs> I hate when they buy one oil. You don't wear a headset? I feel like if I didn't wear a headset, I wouldn't enjoy gaming, though. That's the thing. Maybe I'm weird, man. Chab, have you seen the video of the guy with a head dent and he inflates his head? No, I- what the- what? Why the fuck are you guys watching? What the fuck are you guys watching, dude? I don't get it. Sorry, I just got- I've just got a fucking dent in my head. That's it. That's all I have. Just one dent. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, what are we selling these for? You hate wearing a headset? Market price $10? Okay, we, we, we sell that for $10. That's $3 profit. That's not much. But I guess if they're buying... Ooh, I guess if they're buying a lot. Yeah, it might actually be a lot. Do, 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 do. What are we looking at? $4? I wouldn't search the video up, dude. Name my dent Judy. Judy Dent. Good one. Maybe I do want... I thought he was walking out the stop there. Uh, maybe I do want a second game of dent, you know? Maybe I'll get like a second headset. <laughs> and wear it like... 
further back, so I have like a, a wave. More th the, the more than one dent guy. You don't have a dent yet? The thing is, I feel like I've had a dent since, uh, for so long. Because I used to have a headset when I used to play, like, way back in the day. Because, you know, a lot of brothers and sisters in my family. And you can't actually play games without, like, all, like, so I had to have a headset on the entire time. Juve, do you reckon that we could, like, put our dents in each other? Like, if I put my dent in your dent, do you reckon we could, like, dent each other without dents? Just thinking from the top of my head, dude. I don't know. Maybe we could, uh... <laughs> Dent docking, yeah. Oh, dude, we're running out of oil. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up. I think that's synchronized and we explode. <laughs> yeah. You have been forgiven. Having a dent isn't permanent. Uh, it's pretty much permanent for me. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of my dent. Unless, like, I, I no longer do this as a job. If I ever move past this as a job, then maybe I can become a farmer, you know? Hey, no worries, Keto. Keto, you slowly became one of my favorite chatters. Just because all you do is come in, say lurking and squirt, and, and then you just don't type anything. That's a good chatter right there, chat. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. That guy's the best. Jabba, this is the video. Can I watch this on stream? Hey, you guys, you want to see something really cool? All right, first of all, check out the divot here. Okay, that's not a fucking gamer dent. Okay, that guy's missing half of his fucking skull. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So no, I'm not showing that on fucking stream. <laughs> He's just missing half of his skull. Oh, this guy's a spendy boy. My YouTube or Twitch? I don't know, probably Twitch Jabo right now, I guess. I don't know, dude. My, my personality just split so much. We're nearly out of oil. Yeah, yeah, you can wait a second, dude. Six dollars. Dude, he's smooth with it. I'm so fast. I'm like the world record speedrun. I wish, like, the faster I served customers, the better. When's there gonna be a kick, Jabbo? Uh, I don't know, dude. Hopefully never. <laughs> Only fans? For some reason, I'm more happy my chat's talking about OnlyFans. <laughs> Holy shit, my chat's not talking about my dent. Not my dent, my haircut. Thank fucking God. Yeah, yeah, please talk about OnlyFans. <laughs> Dude, it the, reminds me, uh, every time I talk about oil, uh, I always get reminded about this one time me and Jasmine got like, uh, I think it was just like a normal brothy like noodle soup. And for some reason, Jasmine's was just covered in oil. It was like more oil than it was broth. It was so weird. One second, sir. Yeah, yeah, I, I see you. Didn't even notice my haircut? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Just ignore it. I didn't get a haircut. You know what I'm going to do? Fuck it. I'm going to do... I'm just going to get an old picture of my old haircut. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Media source? Add media source. Browse. Stream recording. Did it just crash my OBS? That didn't, okay. Can I add this screen recording? There you go, chat. Hey, look, it's just like before, chat. He's so- Oh my god, he's not ugly again. Look! Oh, I'm just, I'm, hey, I'm just trying, I'm trying to match up with the, the hairline hasn't changed. It's almost like my hairline hasn't fucking changed. <laughs> Holy shit, his hair grew back. Is it lagging? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's the same? I know. Literally, I, I know, dude. That's what sucks. Literally the same. Someone did this to me. Yeah. <sighs> Back to Diddy Kong Racing. It is what it is, Chet. Just the same thing, but shorter. 
I, w I would cut my sub count in half to go back to that old haircut. <sighs> my forehead looks so much bigger too. All right. Oh, we're nearly out of coffee. Shit. Oh my. Oh my God. That guy just. That... Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Buy whatever it is you need. Why did my sub count jump so high? Uh. Oh. <laughs> did some people actually not know? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just lost like a lot of subs. It's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Um. I don't have enough money. I do have enough money for that. Okay, that's another purchase. All right, let's see if we can do a quick stock refill. We are out of uh, coffee, which is not good. When are we going to start selling other things, Chet? Can I start selling other products soon? I don't know if the oil coffee route is working out. A lot of people are complaining about not getting bread. <laughs> I need money. Do I just keep playing? Is that, is that how I make money? There's stuff besides oil and coffee? Okay, wait, 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 wait. can I... When do I unlock... Um, when do I unlock... Tobacco. Oh! Olive oil next! Oh, big chat! That's huge! We're gonna unlock olive oil! Damn! That might be good for us! What else do we have? Milk tea block. I don't know about that. What can I change the name of it? Can we unlock Doug Doug as a customer? Is that the Mothman tramp stamp? Wait, 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 wait. Is that the Mothman tramp stamp? Holy shit! You can't rename your shop? Damn, that, that is actually, that is actually rough. That is actually fucking rough. I'm just playing music for my playlist now. Do 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 Customization is a future update. Dude, it's literally just a fucking array. Or oh, not even that, it's just a single fucking value. Hey, input a value to then impose on <laughs> That's that bet Oh my god! We I nearly went like a whole hour without talking about Dragon's Dogma 2! What the fuck is happening? Have you guys seen what's happening with Dragon's Dogma 2? Uh, Jesus Christ! Holy fuck, I'm so mad! I'm so angry! I'm so fucking angry! I've been waiting for that game to come out too. I've been waiting for the game to come out. And then as soon as the game comes out, all oh, what's happened? Basically, you're only allowed one character, one save file. Um, you If you want to customize your character after making a character, you have to pay $2. $2 in microtransactions to change what your character looks like mid-playthrough. And then, if you want to fast travel, it is free fucking dollars, apparently. What the fuck? It, it, Capcom. I don't know if it's like hyper, like, oh shit, sorry, my bad, one sec. I don't know if it's, um, if I'm missing a few, if I'm missing a few details, but yeah, uh, they, they basically, there was no microtransactions for the game before it came out. All the reviews came through. The reviews are like nine, 95, 100, 10 out of 10s. They were great. And then as soon as the game comes out, they launch with microtransactions. And a lot of people are, like, angry because some content creators got paid to, like, to promote the game, or didn't get paid to promote the game, and promoted it anyways out of goodwill because they got sent early copies of the product. And then now they've, it turns out, they've, you know, they've pushed a product that's not, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I know, dude, the character changes a lot, you can buy that in-game as well. Still kind of cringe that, that, that they can sell, they sell it to you. I don't know, dude. I think it's kind of cringe. Like, the fact that they have that so, like, if you look at the Steam, yeah, look at the Steam, what is it? I'll have a look. Because, although, I might, I might be completely wrong, because I haven't actually looked into it, but, fully, but, I've seen it from yesterday, I got really fucking annoyed. Look at this. Mostly negative! I swear to god, I don't know if you guys saw, like, the promotional stuff, but wasn't all the promotional stuff, like, really fucking good? Really good? Like, everyone was like, oh, dude, this game is, like, gonna be, like, next ball is get free. It's gonna, like, project the, the Dragon's Dogma series into the mainstream. Everyone's gonna love it. It's coming out. Everyone's using the character creation. 10 out of 10s. And then, like, it comes out. And, yeah, it's all this shit. Oh, my God. A single-player fucking game. 
Points to spend beyond the rift. <laughs> Restore the dead to life. Gain one wake stone, a stone ensourced with miraculous magic, formed of wake stone shards. It holds the power to restore the dead to life once. Gain 500 rift crystals, which can be used to hire pawns or purchase special items. Jesus Christ, warp location marker. Obtain a port crystal, which can be set at a destination of your choice. Use a fairy stone to instantly teleport. Damn. Damn fucking. All I can say is damn, because it's so fucking shit. It's- it- this sucks! Which are all able to be acquired within one hour of the game? I don't- that doesn't- I don't care. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I don't care. I don't care if you can obtain this shit in the game without paying for it. I do- I do not give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. This is a single player game that hid this shit before the game came out. And as soon as the game comes out, then they release that shit? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit and I'm not gonna be buying the game. Which sucks because I was really excited to play it. All this stuff was in the first one? Yeah, like, people were really, like... Pe did, did people play the first one? I didn't play the first one. I was excited for the second one because people said, Don't play the first one. The second one's coming out. Just wait for the second one. That's what people said. And I was like, alright! I'll just wait for the second one. I don't know, I feel like that's fair. Sorry, I'm my bad for not expecting microtransactions in a single-player game. I'm sorry. I thought, it, I thought I was expecting, like, a Baldur's Gate 3. Divinity Original Sin type of, like, deal. Not a Fallout 76. I don't know. The first one was not as monetized as this one. I, I feel like... It is okay to like a game and to feel like... You can, you can like the Dragon's Dogma 2. Right, you can like that game. I'm definitely not buying it. Parody, listen, there's no reason to pre-order games unless you kind of do it as a job. Um, but like, to me, it's like, you can like a game, and you can even not be, have a problem with the microtransactions, but you cannot expect the average person to want microtransactions in a single-player game. Nobody's gonna want that. Not willingly, anyways. I feel like anyways, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I you. Yo, Samba Lion, thanks to the tier 3! Holy shit! One sec, I'll, I, I'll try- I thought it was a lot louder than that, that's so- <laughs> Is that louder, you guys? The first one had DLC, and you got an eternal fairy stone which allowed for infinite fast travel versus the base game where the fairy stones were consumables and rare. Right. Is that- I feel like that's fine. Hot take. If I played Kingdom Come Deliverance right now on stream, and, you know, I played it base game, and I had to make those stupid fucking save pots in order to save, and it sucked ass, and I hated it, but then there was a DLC, and as part of that DLC, I could unlock infinite save pots as part of the DLC. I'm okay with that. That is okay. It sucks, but it's okay. I'm not okay with a company stomping down on mods and then, f like, putting in paid microtransactions to fast travel, which is not what the devs of Kingdom Come Deliverance did. They did it as a gameplay element, and then they allowed the mods that took it away to exist, because they didn't give a fuck. They were like, whatever, dude. Do what you want. If you don't want to pay to fast travel, like, with in-game items, you can remove that. We don't care. I just feel like... Capcom own like one of the most famous franchises in, in horror and we give them we let them off the loose off the off the chain a bit because of it What song is this ACBC you shook me all night long But uh, it's this one dude <laughs> It's a good song I like it. it. Makes me happy. Alright, let's buy some more stuff. We're out. And uh, it's nearly lit. Let's buy two coffee. And one, two, three oil. No. Let's remove one of these. Purchase. Alright, nice. Capcom has been shit for a long time. The thing is, I don't- like, and you say remember Street Fighter. No, I never played Street Fighter. <laughs> I don't, like- the only Capcom shit I've ever played is Resident Evil, I think, and like maybe 
Is Dead Rising, is Dead Rising also Capcom? Like, those types of games, which, to be fair, have been mostly kind of fine. They've not really been as cringe as Dragon's Dogma 2 is. I think what it is, is Dragon's Dogma 2 is a risk to Capcom, and they'd rather be absolutely sure. Yo, Sombaline, what are you doing, man? What is with the tier 3 and the fucking 1,000 bits? Are you just- are you just so anti-Capcom you'll give me a thousand bits? Fuck it. Yeah, you know what? Fuck Capcom. Thanks for a thousand bits, man. Oh, Monster Hunter? I've never really played Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter's a game you need to play with friends. <laughs> and none of my friends really played it. Oh, whenever I found someone that did play it, they were already so far into the game it wasn't fun to play with them, you know? Like, that's kind of a thing. That- that was like my first experience playing Terraria. I remember I played Terraria and my friends were like, Oh, dude, you want to come play with us? And they had, like, all the OP shit. And it just wasn't fun, you know? Maybe maybe I should go revisit Monster Hunter at some point. Maybe it is, like, a really fucking good game. Two seconds, milady. Sell, sell, sell! <laughs> I don't want to play Monster Hunter, to be fairly honest with you. Terraria is one of my favorites. I, I just remember, like, I feel like everyone I've played Terraria with doesn't want to play it. <laughs> I don't know, that kind of sucks. I think the one time I played it and, like, I think, didn't, didn't me and Juve play it that one time? That was so fun. Yeah, we need to do that again. I think me and Juve need to bite the bullet and make a video together at some point, because we've been talking about it a, a lot. Open, please. All right, we have no money, boys. Our coffee oil business isn't too- Okay, chat, are we- are we- when are we- when are we- when- 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 when are we- when are we- gonna move on past the oil and the coffee. When are we gonna move on past it? Okay, the, co the oil and the coffee? I'm gonna change around the shop a bit. What the fuck was he buying from? We just got the coffee. Fine. Down with Dr. Two. Dude, you know what sucks? I was so excited to watch people play it too. I don't know. I was so excited to watch people play Dragon's Dogma. I don't. Can't believe the L you took in the spiffing Brit video. You were rooting for me? I... I... feel like I kinda let you guys down with that video, but at the same time... Me dying made that video so much better. Like... I wanted to do well... in the Spiffing Brit video, but at the same time, I didn't. And I already was dead, and then the, when we watched the video back, it was way better after the fact, when I died. Because I imagine if it was just us running around trying to get the most kills possible, Maybe that wouldn't have actually been the most entertaining shit in the world, you know? So... I think, uh... Realistically, it did wonders for the video, but... Made me look like a bit of a... A monkey. Which is fine. I stopped watching the video after you died. You didn't need to do that, but I appreciate it, man! Imagine if no one died the entire hour. Chat, is there a way to get more customers? Because this is like- I've got like two customers, but this is- this sucks. I'm just too fast at serving. Maybe I need to talk to them. Now, hi, how was your day? How are you doing, sir? You good? Good to see you today, sir. You doing pretty good? Thank you for the item. At least we got one oil. We got one coffee. And, uh, the final price comes to $14. Thank you. Uh, that's $36 change. And, uh, you have a great day, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, hello, madam. Uh, this is one oil. Uh, that'll come to four dollars. Thank you. Oh, thank you for that. Appreciate it. See you. Did Did I not just? Okay. Right. I thought I just served the same person. The twins. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really, uh, the, the, do you guys, like, see the stealth hit I got on Spiff? I really expected that to, like, do way more damage than what it did. That did no damage at all. 
Can you just give him change in pennies? Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it next time. Slice bread. See, I don't I don't think we're doing too well. I don't think this is going red chat. I don't think the coffee oil business is going well. I think we might actually have to like, you know, improve a bit. Shelf one, two hundred dollars. Why? I'll just get a fridge. Okay. We'll sell something in the fridge. Alcohol probably. Hello, sir. The coffee's bringing you down. Oil, all oil. Can I increase the price of th these things? Should we be a bit more like expensive with our pricing? Maybe. Maybe we should actually. What do you guys think? Should we be cheap, or should we be expensive? Change this to five dollars. Luxury oil. Yeah, let's fucking let's rip them off. All right, but we. But we only sell oil and what should I chit but supermarket sim but we s <laughs> but we're expensive <laughs> I, don't know, dude. I don't know what to name the title put in the cost of the customer okay let's change this to twelve dollars let's change this to five yeah it's fine that's good all right I guess you get it for four because you you bought it before the price went up huh yeah you did you <laughs> you didn't get so lucky can you change the price to a million dollars and then ring someone up? I don't think that's gonna work, Chad. Should we see? What I say we do is we increase the price by a, a, a dollar every day for each product until someone complains. Wait for them to pick it up. I don't think that works. I can try it though. Market research? No. This is boots on the ground research. We're researching the consumer. Oh, dude, we'll be in there soon. All right, one sec. Leeds oil is too expensive for me. Oh my god. I fucking hate this game. I hate this game. These people are- these people are horrible. These people suck, dude. Really? I'm trying to make an honest living. Oh, but you'll buy the coffee for $24, will you? Okay, fine. Whatever, dude. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Do 450? But then I have to do- no! See, here's the thing. I- if I do 450, I have to do 0.5s, right? Think about it. Think about quick I can get a customer out the- out the door. When- when they buy stuff. Like, did it, did it. imagine if I do four pounds fifty. Eesh. That wouldn't be too good. You still have to do change, yeah, but it's just that. You know, imagine I do that and then that, and then by the time I get to it, there's the next customer in the queue. Let's buy the fridge. Now nah, we'll buy a shelf. Yeah, let's buy a shelf. We got another product to sell, boys. Let's, uh, put this- should we do, like, the weird thing where you do, like, this backwards? <laughs> Let's put it here. Two seconds, gamers. Lights are on. Buy the shelf! <laughs> Get olive oil? Do I have to buy- I have to be level six, and I need to have, like, where is the license cost? I think it's expensive as fuck. Management license. It's four hundred dollars. Do we save up for a chat? You know what? Actually, I think we take out the loan. I think we take out the loan. I think we take out the loan, and we get the olive oil, and we just go all out and hope for the best. Because that's all you can do in life, you know. Return payment in twenty days. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry, sir. Um. Kind of doing my uh, my taxes here, but I, I guess fuck me, you know. Um, let's buy the product license, and then let's buy. Where's the oil? Olive oil. Five. Three of them. Jobbo, hey hi, Jobbo, hi, chat, jabble. They're closed. Fuck.
I like when one guy comes in and buys one oil. I declare bankruptcy. I'm not gonna go bankrupt! God! Thank you, Ride, for the 21 months, man. I hope you're doing well. Appreciate it. Alright, let's close up and let's just do it tomorrow. And thank you again, Subline, for being such a weird su <laughs> Weird supporter, I guess. Oh, olive oil is up in price! Is that not- is that bad? I don't know if that's good. Let's go, boys. Let's sell everything we got. This is standard cheat shit chip oil. Shit? Cheap oil. Fuck me. Oh, this is the good stuff. I wonder how much this sells for. Put your price for oil up. We'll see. Coffee! Come get your coffee, gamers! Jabo, if you're not FIFOing, you're gonna lose product. I don't know what that means. What is FIFOing? Is that like some uh, corporate lingo? First in, first out? Oh, is that when like you put like all the products at the front to make sure that they get sold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to never do that when I worked at Tesco. I refused to do it. <laughs> Fuck them, dude. I used to be like, nah, I'm good. You guys can go. <laughs> I feel like people can find the item that they want, you know? They don't need you to put it- I mean, I guess maybe they do. Market price six dollars? Put that to seven. All right, we're good, boys. Let's open up for the day. Bing, bang, bosh. Let's go. All right. Olive oil does not have a good markup, to be honest with you. I'm looking at three dollars forty profit per olive oil. Three dollar fifty per oil and five dollar per coffee. But that's still more products to sell. The average person is more likely to go bang bang boosh and sell it here so hey somber i watch your youtube all the time i just never get the chance to watch a stream because i work too much everyone works too much <clears throat> that's the thing about life everybody works too much and it's kind of true we should all you know what we should all do we should all do a big walkout and just all quit our jobs right chat and starting with you guys everyone we should all quit our jobs today hey look i'll start i quit Anyways, uh, you know, you guys do it too, we're good. You guys do it too, and we'll, we'll all be set. Get the fuck out. Exactly. You already did it. <laughs> you like your job. I don't like your job. How about that, huh? I don't like that you're working. How about they kill people for saying that? In what country do they kill people for saying that they don't want to do that job, huh? What do I do if I'm a freelancer? You don't have a job, so it's fine. North Korea? In The Sims. North Korea. Wow, chat. One country, huh? A country that's got like 10 people in it. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. How many people do actually live in uh, North Korea? What's the red dot on my forehead? It's probably a spot. <laughs> Couldn't find a Aote bottle rod. I don't, I don't care, man. 25 million? 25 million people live in North Korea? What the fuck? Are you serious? That is, I did not expect it to be that many people. Holy shit. My god! Do you think it was like five? Yeah, I mean... I, <laughs> I don't know! I'm sorry! <laughs> Dude, I... Have you not seen every single image that comes out of North Korea? It's empty. I'm so sorry. I North Korea just looks like an abandoned wasteland. I That's fair, right? To say that I can say that. It does. Hey, what up, Ryan Bishy? Oh shit. 
The Vatican, yeah, I mean, true, the Vatican's probably got the least amount of people. Holy shit, you did a big purchase. Thank you for shopping here and buying coffee and oil at my great shop. Pay your bills for the shop? What bills? Wait, do I have bills? Wait, what, what do I pay the bills? <laughs> what the fuck? Management? Bills. That's it? Oh my god, I gotta pay rent and bills and shit? Ooh, maybe we should hire a cashier. Dude, it was so fucking sad. We have so much oil. Holy fuck. Coffee! The tax man's coming for you? Shit. Jabba King Jong Un is on the line. He wants to talk to you. Yeah, I'd actually like to have a word of him, to be honest with you. I feel like I can fix North Korea. I feel like I could actually. Put me in charge of North Korea. Cause like, Kim Jong-un's trying to go for like the... He's trying to go for like the uh, the dominance ending, right? The the like, army ending in like Civ 5. He's trying to go for like the domination ending. But I don't think they can do it. They're a bit far behind at this point. I'd try and go for like the science ending. So if I owned North Korea, I'd, I'd just, you know, hey, let's, let's, let's go all in on science. I don't know. What does daily tax do? It gives me money. That's all. Couldn't find peanut butter? Yeah, well, fuck you, dude. Never liked you in the first place. <laughs> dude, they're, they're behind in science because they've never actually done it. Maybe, maybe if they hired me, I'd be the best scientist in town. Thank you, sir. 36 dollary dues. We're making a bit of money now, Chad. It's a bit easier to make money. That's okay. actually kind of cool. So we do need more. We need one, two olive oils. I'd say maybe three. And four coffees. Uh, Three olive oils, and I'll get the one coffee. That's 185. So I'm waiting on customers now. Oh my lord. Jabba, you're not even the best scientist in your house. Yeah, but I don't think Jasmine would come to North Korea with me, so I'd have to do it alone, you know? Actually, Jasmine, would you come to North Korea with me? Would you like- would you be my supreme leader? What's- what's- what's the supreme leader's wife called? Second in- like, I don't- First lady? Second supreme lady? Supreme lady? Jasmine, would you be my supreme lady? <laughs> That's actually kind of cute! <laughs> You're 10! From New Zealand. Thank you so much for the tier 1. No? Okay, fine. Whatever, dude. I'll just- I'll be a lonely supreme leader. It is what it is. <sighs> it's, a, it's whatever you want into your country. That's not how it works. You gotta follow traditions, man. You should do follow for fists only? Uh, maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. Sorry. Just doing my job. I thought I already did fists only. I don't think I did. Unless I did. As part of like the terrible challenge idea. I'm not saying your idea is terrible. Just saying that was probably the video I, that it was on. <laughs> Anyone pick up an oil? I just want to get rid of this box. Sell bread to go with the oil? Fuck no! The whole point is we sell mismatched products, man. We don't- we sell things you don't want to buy in combination with each other. Like, why would you buy normal oil and olive oil? <laughs> Unless I'm missing something. Oh, good purchase, sir. Good purchase, good pickup. I would recommend the olive oil. It's our best quality product. Jack Daniels and car keys? Yeah, like, if- honest to god, if I- if I owned a car dealer- dealership, I would have a bar in the car dealership. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not, dude? Someone's there to buy, make a big purchase, give them, like, a shot of whiskey, help them make that purchase, and then when they drive out, give them an ex extra whiskey. Not your problem. I don't know, sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, sounds great. 
Uh, what do you guys want to do next? Should we have like another? We should go for another shelf next, right? Put you there. Actually, no, put you there. All right, open the door. Come on, we're open, boys. <laughs> Let's see if I can run run around the block real quick. Is this a Fallout 4 mod where Preston Garvey makes you work as a vendor? <laughs> Jabba, can you let Rick stand out of the closet? Fuck no. Oh, I can jump! <laughs> Why is that surprising me? I can jump! This game's got basic WSD controls! Anyone in my shop? Oh shit, I left it unattended. Dude, this guy's buying a whole lot. Holy shit. Do I sell the olive oil for $7? Purchase a new section using your computer or expand the store. To expand the store, okay. Not market, sorry. It'll be probably management, right? Jesus Christ. Uh, management, growth, section two? Should we take out another loan? <laughs> Fuck, I have, to, I have to pay off the loans too. Um, if I pay it off right now, 810, oh my god. I don't think we're getting out of this whole shit. What's my favorite game franchise besides Fallout? I don't know. I feel like every game franchise I liked has been fucked somewhere. Like I used to like Halo a lot. But then Halo 4 came out. And I used to like Fable, and then Fable 3 came out. Had the carbon tax increased the price by 30%? I don't think so, buddy. I think we're good. Ole mole. And maybe we increase this to $8. Let's try that out. Kevin, it's too expensive. Sure. up. <sighs> you like Fable 3? I... Liked Fable Free's story, but I don't like the way that the game is designed, if that makes sense. The story and the way that the game- the, the things that the game's trying to do isn't actually that bad. But how the game actually executes it is no bueno. I don't know. To me, it's like, it could have been better. I- dude, the thing that sucked about Halo 4 was, was the, the loot boxes. That was the thing that turned me off. I don't know, I don't know how- <laughs> It's- it's so weird. I feel like games that are launched with loot boxes, I do not give a fuck, right? I'll play like Overwatch, I don't really care. But like, as soon as I play a franchise that has had microtransactions added to it, that work- that- that, that, is, that is so much worse. That is so much worse. And to me it's like, I played Halo 4 and I saw that shit, and I was like, damn. It just made me not want to play it. I don't know whether- I don't know. It just made me not want to play the game. Because I remembered in Halo Reach, that was Halo 5. Was that Halo 5? I might be misremembering. But I just re I, all it did was made me remember Halo Reach and how you could just unlock everything in Halo Reach from just playing the game. You know? Should you play Ultra Kill? Yeah, I, I've been uh, eyeing it up. The olive oil is too expensive for me. What, $8? Wouldn't you guys play, pay $8 for olive oil? That's not so bad. The Fallout Roulette? You should watch it, dude. It's a good VOD. In fact, everyone should go do that. <laughs> go go get the VOD from uh, the Fallout Roulette and leave it on in the background. <laughs> how much is this to pay off early, though? Already taken 750. I have no idea how this works. I can't pay it off, so... Dumpies are my favorites. No, if you raise the price after they pick it up, it doesn't work. Can I do a backflip for you guys? I could. I, I could. I don't want to. We're just gonna keep going until we, uh... We're making quite a bit of money now, to be fair. We're making quite a nice little penny. Should we keep waiting until we pay off our debt, or should we, um... What do you guys think? Pay off our debt, or expand the store? Do we double down, or do we play it safe? 
I say we double down. I, I feel like life's not worth living if you don't make those uh, stupid mistakes, right? We expand. Good shit. More debt. Good stuff. Come on, sir! Yeah, I do trademark. I, mi I missed when they pulled me onto... onto Till's mid-shift and then had a go at me for being on the Till's mid-shift even though they asked me to. <laughs> ah, yes, the good old days. Two seconds, sir. Ah, I'm I have just purchased section two. What the fuck? <laughs> okay! Okay, 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 I get this. Anybody else know what what's a good product to sell? What's the next good product? We need a we didn't we need another staple product, a new streamlined mainline brand product chat. We need something that's gonna sell. Condoms? I don't know. Not not with you guys. <laughs> not with if you guys are the market we're trying to sell it to, I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe a chastity belt. <laughs> Lighters? Yeah, we can't sell that I mean like Okay, has anyone watched any of the other YouTube Twitch streamers play this game? <laughs> Anybody know any secrets that I can buy? Batteries, olives, alcohol, lighters, rice. Should we sell rice? Okay, what should we sell? Y you can wait a second. Peanut butter? Spread it like peanut butter jelly. We, we don't have any liquor, soap. We don't. We have salt. I can sell salt. What are we fighting demons? <laughs> You guys want to sell salt? Summoning salt. Wait, really? Summoning salt? Let's get it, dude. Uh, sorry, quick. Product, furniture, quick. Shelf. We can set this up now. Everyone's complaining about no eggs. I don't give a fuck, dude. Eggs are a normal product. We don't sell that. We sell salt. It's weird. We sell the weird products here at this shop, Chad. Kate Middleton's alive? <laughs> That's so tragic. Oh my god. Um, apparently Kate Middleton's alive, but the reason why she's not been... Um, is because she has cancer. Uh, now I feel bad for making all the Kate Middleton jokes. Cause I thought she was dead. I thought they were hiding her, you know? I thought they... <laughs> I just... <laughs> well, there's our answer, Chet. I thought she got swept up in the... in the Willy Wonka factory in Scotland, but it is what it is. They, ha they happened around the same time, so I, I think it's fair to say. Uh... Average cost? Two dollars. I'll sell it for free. That's such a cheap product, dude. What the fuck? Two of the royal family at once? Oh! <gasps> Wait a second. Uh oh. True. Olive oil? Market price. Oh god, that has to go down to seven. Whatever. It's a conspiracy, chat. True. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe what they're telling you, chat. Also, the, uh. The salt was a bad idea. I'm just gonna say it outright. The salt was a terrible idea. Thanks for letting me know, by the way. <laughs> that's cr- <laughs> No, genuinely, that's crazy. I was like, oh my god, she's alive! Cause I saw the pictures- you, you guys saw the pictures that they sent when they were like, She's still alive, guys! It was like, no, this looks like two pixels. Okay, I, I searched the wrong thing. Parappa, the rapper car rap. Thanks, by the way. Um, someone in chat asked for this, I'm giving it. All right, we're here, just sitting in the car. I want you to show me if you can get far. Step on the gas. Step on the gas. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Now step on the gas. What, Raven? Step on the gas. What has a boom, boom, boom? I need one sale. Come on, come on in to my store. Buy my stuff. Step on the brakes. Oh, the coffee. Shit. Quick! Step on the gas. I grab the but it ain't gonna stop me. Here we go. Check and turn the signals to the right. Check and turn the signals to the right. Now turn to the right. Now turn to the right. Min max, min max. Min max. Min 
Min Max. Really, dude? Salt. Do you know why we stopped the car? Do I know why we stopped the car? More salt. Chat, what? I think salt's a bad idea. The salt's a terrible idea. I, I, I think we, we. Fuck. The salt. Oh, the salt sells so cheap. Best customer service in town. Best. Dude, I'm so good at fucking dealing with customers, man. Holy shit, do you see this shit? I'm like left, right, and center. Fucking. I'm off in two different places at once. I'm stacking shelves. I'm deal. I'm talking to customers. I'm chatting up the old ladies. I'm doing fucking great. Holy shit. Should you make this your day job? Yeah, no, no, thank you. Yo, Mazzy Bongo. Thank you for the prime. Thank you so much. Chat. Salt, yes or no? I say, I'd be, I feel like salt was a big letdown. I say we go for high product, we go for flour next. Yes? You guys want the salt? Actually, you know what? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god, did you guys see what was on the... Oh my god, I... Do you still want the salt? I hope you enjoy enjoy Dragon's Dogma Wolf. Don't buy any of the microtransactions though, but I hope you do enjoy it. He just said the the salt was too expensive. I'm I'm getting rid of the salt. I'm getting I'm getting rid of the salt, dude. I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. It's not worth it. It sells for like three dollars a pop. And everyone complains about it. How many streamers have looked at the salt closely? <laughs> I'm looking at them, Jet. Le less beads? Look! What the fuck? What are you in Bazinga? <laughs> Don't fucking Bazinga that, dude. I wouldn't buy a soda can of salt for three dollars. Three euros, I know, right? Chat, the salt's going. <laughs> the coffee's a better product than the salt is. I don't know, man. Actually, you know what? Uh, you know what? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling generous. We'll keep the salt for now. We'll keep the salt for now. I think we, we need to get another product, but we'll keep the salt. It's called markup, dude. We're running like a very expensive shop here. God. I was like, where am I going to put my new shelf? What's going on the next shelf, Chet? Let's have a look at the licenses. License. We could either have orange juice, soda, zap soda, cola soda, apple juice, milk six pack, or turco soda. Is that beans? If there's beans, we'll sell beans, but I don't think there is beans. Not yet, anyways. We have... Currently, we have cereal, sliced bread, fl flour, sugar pa sugar powdered, just sugar, really. Pasta, oil, bottled water, cheese, coffee, tea, milk, eggs, peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta, spaghetti, rice, basmati, and salt. You guys want the big packs of milk? I'll do that. Big packs of milk sounds good to me. Really, dude, wow. You're, so, you're such a generous man. Buying so much, huh? Fuck you. <sighs> True casually okay with this. You're actually so correct. The only difference between where rich people shop and the average person shops is just the price. That is literally all it is. God, okay.
Jerry, you're the reason I like Fallout, but I can't get New Vegas and Fallout free because I'd have to upgrade my PlayStation Plus. Upgrade it, dude. It's probably worth it. Jabo shower fart wasabi tastes like spicy mustard. Isn't like wasabi and horseradish like very, very, very similar to the point where most wasabi is just horseradish? I feel like that's a, like a, a tidbit of information that everyone tells me all the time, so I have to always say it whenever somebody mentions wasabi. Like nobody, nobody can bring up wasabi without mentioning that. It's like, yeah, dude, you know, wasabi is not, that's not real wasabi, you know that, right? It's like, yeah, I, I kind of know at this point. Oh, on PlayStation, I see, yes. Yeah, me and Jasmine ran into that issue too. We couldn't do the DLCs for like Fallout 3 or something. find any milk, bitch. We need the license first, to be fair, though. What do we need stock up wise? Coffee? A little bit of oil of each. Okay. Two oil of each? And one coffee. We'll do two olive oil. Two of them. We'll buy that in the morning. Easy come, easy go. Let's go, boys. Buy this. The dark roast went up in price, so I think we can increase the price of the dark roast. Which is good. Good for us, at least. How'd you come up with Jabo's your name? It's uh, an abbreviation of my real name. My first name is Jason, my surname is Bon. Like Jason Bon. So my uh, Jabba was just the first two letters of both names. Oh, like James Bond. True. Some real Jabba law for you guys. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. It's my opinions on Snuffle's feet sweat. Uh, no comment. Ah. <sighs> Which Fallout is this? Uh, we're role-playing at a speakeasy in Fallout 4. We got a PSVR 2. I was kind of disappointed at, like, how most of the P PlayStation VR games don't work in the PSVR 2. Most of the PlayStation VR 1 games don't work on the PSVR 2, and it was so, like, random. We bought one, and it's like, we can't play half the games that, like, <laughs> most people play. Do you guys like this, by the way? Just me sat here pretending to be a, an average worker. Selling coffee, salt, oil, and oil. <laughs> God. Yeah, you hate this? <laughs> I'm okay with that. As long as you have an opinion on it. The super duper mod? Yeah, this is the super duper mod. The stream is just like me, so relatable. Huh, he has a normal job. Oh, we didn't mark up the coffee! 13. This is apparently too pricey. Uh, what? The oil just keeps going down in price. What's the point? I'm gonna sell this oil for uh, $6 and try that out. I say we just rip everyone off, you know? Lamp oil, bombs, we've got it all. Uh, how much is the uh, license, actually? $550. Dollars. That's just to sell the milk pack. The oil market has collapsed. <laughs> no! That, okay, let's see if I can scam this guy. Take his card, and I'll charge him 16. No. Charge him $8? No. 7? No. 6. I can't- I can't scam him. Doesn't the milk need the fridge? Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Let's buy another product then, Chet. What about- You guys wanna sell flour? Eggs? Nah, eggs suck, dude. People who sell eggs are weird. Okay, I'll give you guys a choice. Either flour or milk. 
Actually, I can't sell the milk because I don't have a fridge. So, peanut butter or flour? Mods, pull it. Oh, actually, I'll pull it. Give me a second. Let me, uh, slash pull. Uh, product? I'm gonna put PB or, uh, flour. Good luck, chat. You got two minutes on that one. I'm, uh, I've slowly come around to peanut butter. I kind of like peanut butter a lot more now. I used to kind of hate it because everyone was all about peanut butter and, eh. If you 50-50 it, I'll, um, sell cheese instead. <laughs> Try me, bitch. 19, huh? Can I just give you, like, $20 so I don't have to give you, do more work? Cheese? Cheese needs fridge? What's my opinion on Vegemite? Uh, is that, like, kind of like Marmite? Because I really like Marmite. I used to hate Marmite as a kid. I knew I'd start to like it as I got older. I love Marmite now. That shit's goaded. Hey, don't worry about it, Jam Jam. Subbing and donating isn't necessary at all, though. I don't actually recommend that people do, uh, personally. You should just support creators by watching them. It's kind of like the beauty of our job, you know? I can sit here and stream and put my videos on YouTube and nobody has to technically give me a pen. Forklifts are widely used to improve the efficiency of logistical distribution Kill me. systems. Where's However, the next car, please? This convenient uh, transporting machine may be the cause of serious accidents or casualties. I'm glad he got a sub, but Jesus fucking Christ! In order to prevent accidents and or casualties, hey chat, you better be learning how to use that forklift. forklift. That's too expensive to you. In this video. Oh my God, the price. You thought you got an ad. This is an ad. Before starting any operation with a forklift, ensure the forks are in the proper safe position. I wish I was forklift certified. Load or type of pallet to be handled. I feel like being forklift certified would the fuck, you know? The recommended width between the forks is one half to three fourths of the width of the pallet. When adjusting the position of the forks, place them symmetrically <laughs> to the- <laughs> Are you guys forklift certified? Salt is too expensive for me. I swear to God, dude, it's, it's just salt. It's literally just salt. Like, come on. Get over it, please. What one? Peanut butter? All right. We're going crazy with the peanut butter, boys. We're selling peanut butter. We have now got a new product in our store. It's called peanut butter of the third. It's quick. Uh... Um, Why, dude? I shoved up my ass. Why the tier twos? Uh, the tier threes. Pencils, pens, pencil coins, stiff cocks. What's the tier two? Oh, well, that's a tier three. Thank you, bloody Redoso. For the, uh, for the eight months of tier free subbing. <laughs> Absolute waste of money. I do appreciate it. Oh, shit. Um, seven. Quick. You're selling product. Dude, did they just buy that at base value? Shit. Oh, no. I'm losing so much money. Oh, dude. I gotta do all this stuff. Being forklift certified, not only can you pick up chicks, you can also pick up pallets upon pallets of oil. True. We're out of coffee. Ah, oh, shit. I'm really bad at this, huh? I'm really bad at this whole, like, running a shop. <laughs> Two jars for 550? Come here. Come on. Give me a card. $12. All right, out you get. Let me set up the, the, the shop for tomorrow. We're gonna buy salt. Uh, peanut butter, dog with the butter, two of them, two of them. <sighs> Too bad you can't scam them. If you could scam people in this game, I'd be a millionaire. 
I'd be an absolute fucking millionaire. Alright, let's get rid of one of the peanut butters, and then let's call it a day. Let's come back tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna try and do next, we could either try and pay off our bills, if you guys are up for that, which I think is a bit cringe, um, or, chat, we could just expand once again. We could just keep expanding the shop. And I think that's a good idea, personally, so. Expand the empire, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wrong fucking shelf. Never stop expanding. What do we sell next then? I guess we're going for a uh, milk next. You guys really want the the milk six pack, right? I can do the milk six pack. I can make that a thing. Yes. What would you like, milk, please? Six. Water and milk? No, we sell- people who buy water are chumps, dude. But what about if I live in the United States? Well, don't. <laughs> True! True! Wait, I didn't think about it that way. Holy shit! He's right! More salt! Fuck it, we're, we're gonna keep selling the salt till the day I die. Fuck it, Chet. Salt is a part of this business now. It's a very valuable commodity. People need it. Someone's gotta sell the salt and that's gonna be me! Hey! Uh, what's that? Thirteen dollars for that? It's free, six, perfect. Easy! I can buy myself a cashier. I can do that. Like, the whole, like, management, uh, hiring. Hmm, maybe we do get up a cashier at some point. Get someone to work for me. But then what if they're lazy? Can I ever go at them? Yeah, yes, today I will buy peanut butter at the new store down there. Ooh, we're getting the sex. We're getting that. 750. All right, chat. Option one. We save up for the expansion for $750. Or we hire a... We get a second till, which I don't think we need at all. And we get a cashier. <laughs> which I think is a terrible idea. But we can do that. I... Can I get- can I get- can I- Oh, we can pay off our loan! If we pay off our loan, we can get another loan. I don't need a cashier, to be honest with you. Honest to fucking god, I'm handling this myself. Section free? I agree. Get that minimum wage worker. Hire someone so you can bully them. True. I Sorry, sir, you're gonna buy our nice- Okay. The fuck? Alright, fuck you, dude. Cheap ass. You'll buy the coffee and the peanut butter, huh? Don't need to be, like, level 10 for a cashier. I'm, like, one level and a quarter off of it. $250! Do 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 Are you gonna make more Project Zomboid VODs? Um, not- I don't think so, anytime soon. I think we're more likely to play Spar again. The Zomboid VODs didn't do the best. Um, and neither did the RimWorld stuff, which kinda... gives me the implication that I don't really think it's pe what people are after. I don't know. But I definitely think we'll play, um... We'll definitely think we'll play some other games at some point soon. Maybe Kenji again? I'm kind of in the mood for Kenji. I haven't played that in such a long time. Thank you, sir. We're gonna try CDDA. I, I, we did kind of try it. Maybe we should do like a proper playthrough. Kenshi would be sweet. My idea is I, I don't really know what I can do for Kenshi right now. We'll just undercut these guys. Fuck it, dude. Self two. Thank you. Did I ever do a Dark Souls roulette? It depends how Fallout roulette does- If Fallout roulette does okay, then maybe not. Because Fallout roulette has to like- We'll see. We'll see, really. I'm not really too fussed right now. Uh, I just want to focus on the Fallout roulette video and see what happens from it. Turn up the star OST? 
There's no in-game music, right? Am I going crazy? There's no in-game music. Yeah, that's it. You missed the spa stream? It was fucking great. The only problem with Sims Roulette is, um... How am I supposed to, like, spin the wheel? <laughs> Every time I die? But if you, you if you play a game like The Sims Herbs, you're never gonna die. You know? Excuse me, sir, do you wanna- yep, that's right. Me- I, I'm hoping so, Ashdog. I'm kind of prepared for it to be, but we'll see. Sometimes you- like, you can- you can spend a lot of time in a video and you think, Damn, this is the shit, and then it doesn't do- it just does okay. <laughs> Every time a Sims pissed himself. <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out, chat. A Doom Roulette. Yeah, let me do a Doom Roulette with like four Doom games. Doo -doo. Am I gonna finish Spawn? Uh, I was thinking about going back to it for a video idea at some point, rather than going back to it to just play it. Continue playing it. Maybe we buy the shelf. Small rack. Or spotlight. Ooh. Ooh. There's so many Doom games. Yeah, but most of them are like fucking... Dude, most... Okay, I know there's a lot of Doom games, chat, but aren't most of them like the fucking super old ones? Need a fridge for milk? All right, fine. I'll get the fucking big gigantic fridge. Big mommy milk of fridge. All right, we'll put this... Little fucker... Here. Happy? There's four. There's Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 64, Doom Eternal, Doom 2017, 16, whatever it came out. Uh, the Doom, like, Nintendo version of Doom that didn't have blood. <laughs> There's so many, dude. I don't know. Can I get banned now? Someone ban Mr. Giggles, I guess? He wants to be banned from the chat. Goodbye, Mr. Giggles. There's no one bans, though, so once you're gone, you're gone. What he wanted! He asked for it. I hope, uh, getting banned from the chat was worth it, my friend. Rest in peace, Mr. Giggles! Wolfenstein Roulette? Eh. I'd rather do... I've, I've, I've kind of thought about a few ideas for it. But I haven't really come to any conclusions outside of this. I think I'm gonna wait for um, Fallout Roulette to come out, like I said, and then we'll see. Am I gonna play Fallout London on stream? Yes. We are gonna play Fallout London on stream. It's, uh... It's, uh... It's gonna be fun. My main plan for Fallout London, though, is to play it on the hardest difficulty. And, uh, we'll have a good time, chat. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Should we, should we save up for the, uh... The big milk, or should we get the, um... The small milk. I say we go for the six-pack milk, personally. Elder Scrolls Roulette? Maybe. I don't... Again, we'll see. Get the big, the big milk. Yes. What the fuck is going on? I need the burp. My bad. Alright, let's end for the day. Let's come back tomorrow. We're so broke. We're so fucking broke. It's so bad. We have no fucking money. Everything about this life sucks. I'm gonna sell this for seven. I think we can get away with seven dollars. Do, 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 do. I will buy this. It's just coffee, right? Yeah, I kind of just need coffee right now. Coffee's our big market seller. Makes us a big cash. I'm gonna go out of business? Nah, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it, dude. We're gonna be fine. We just need the milk now. So for milk, what we need to do is we need to get management, license. Okay, I got bills to pay. Okay, I'm out of money. <laughs> Why is rent $35 a day? What the fuck is that? What is that? I'm so broke. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I am fucked. Yo, Waz, thank you for the prime. I do appreciate it. Is anyone coming into my shop? 
Hello? Am, am I gonna get like an influx of uh, customers soon? Cause I feel like I get like one customer a day. <laughs> Madam, are you coming into my shop? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Step in. Thank you. Your mortgage is forty-eight dollars a day. Holy shit! Why does that feel like a lot of money? Why does it feel like we we have to spend so much money just to live? <laughs> Wait, I might just never mind. Thinking too much. I should stop thinking. Let me pay my uh my bills. I can't pay my I can't pay my bills. I'm so broke. <laughs> it's called capitalism. Dude, why are people buying one thing? What is that all about? Do you guys not need to do like a full grocery shop? Give us a setup tour. Okay, what we have here is uh you come into the shop. Wow, look, nice open space. Nice Ooh, can I move these to like be more of the products? Oh, sorry. Oh, dude, this guy went all out. Fifty-six dollar dues. Dude, you can come back any day. You can come back any fucking day of the week, so you're welcome. Do 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 do. These lights are so fucked now. Whatever. It looks kind of even. <laughs> Damn! This guy's buying so much! Money! I fucking love money! Thank you guys! I can pay off my bills! Alright, licenses. We need $550. <laughs> I don't see any milk in that fridge. We're waiting for the big milk, aren't we? I thought we were waiting for the gigantic milk. Dude, why would you come to the shop for one jar of peanut butter? What is wrong with you? Yes, we're going for big milkies. I know. I think that's gonna cost us like 550 plus then some. Yeah. I could get the product license for a cake, candy, chocolate bar, yogurt. Yogurt. Or we could get toilet paper in free levels. I want the toilet paper in free levels. That sounds good to me. Customers! We'll sell cake and milk. Ooh. Uh, we're so broke. It's so bad. The thing is, if we pay off our bet debts, we can probably take another loan right afterwards, you know? <laughs> Same. Put the toilet paper in the fridge. 30. Chocolate sells really well in this game. You guys want to sell chocolate? Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. Chocolate bar. Ooh, we can just sell chocolate bars. You guys you guys all about that life? Just a shelf of chocolate bars? I'm okay with that. You love loan hopping? <laughs> Dude, loan hopping is the way to win in real life. <laughs> Trust me, if you guys don't get lucky, just loan hop. It's bad advice, but you know what? Fuck it, dude. What are they gonna do? Catch up to you? <laughs> what are they gonna do? Put you in jail? Put you in never-ending debt that your children still have to pay off? I don't know, Chad. Sounds a bit too real for me. Excuse me? Did that guy just walk out of my shop? Hello, yes, it's me. What's this song? Uh, Yakuza Zero OST, track number 78. Can I have a hug good night? <laughs> oh, come here! Come here! There you go, dude. Uh, good, have a good sleep! Hey! That was for that one guy in chat, so everyone else, uh, you paused the stream, right, and you didn't watch? You get, you weren't paying attention? I hope so. So that was for that one guy in chat, not you guys. 
Didn't, you, didn't I wear this shirt yesterday? I did, yes. Yep, yes, I, I wore this t-shirt yesterday. Yes, I did. I didn't do anything in it. I just sat here on stream. I might as well wear it again. <laughs> You wear your shirts seven days a week, dude. That that's the fucking man right there. Didn't we already have this song earlier? I'm skipping it. <laughs> Damn, dude, the lighting looks so much better in this place now. Look at that. You were sat sweating in VR, dude. What are you guys trying to do? Out me? Shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to stream today, okay? This is my fucking day off. How much does a light cost? $40? Yeah, I want one. Sorry, chat. It's a waste of money, but I want one. I need one above me. Like that, so I can see what I'm doing. D D Jasmine, they don't understand how much washing we have to go through. They don't get it, Jasmine. It's okay. They'll never get it. Those disgusting little chatters will never understand. The lighting makes it look like a horror game? That's because they're kind of made... <laughs> ...with the same level of finesse as a horror game. Most of you guys didn't even notice. True. True. How we have to do so much washing every day? Cause we cause to be fair, I go through so many clothes. Like I'll I'll have a set of clothes, and then if I record a video, I'll have another set of clothes. And then if I stream, I'll wear different sets of clothes. Like today's the laziest I've been. It's like the first time I've worn the same t shirt in like two days in a row in like months at this point. Alright, I guess we're done here for the day. Alright. Looking pretty good. Made a bit of profit today. Our price is looking. $6 for that. $7 for that looks pretty fucking good to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We should probably stock up a bit, right? We should probably stock up a bit. Like, a little bit more. Coffee and stuff. Let's do one last stock up. Unless I can get the loan payment off. $500. I'm a little bit off. No, I don't go for, out for outfits deciding what to wear on stream. Should we do... Should we do one, like, a small amount of purchasing? Or should we do a fuck ton of purchasing? And, like, compound that into more profits? Or should we do a little bit of purchasing, get enough money to pay off the loan, and then expand? A fuck ton. A small ton. A little bit. The big milk. That's what I'm thinking about. Buy everything. Alright, we'll go we'll go crazy a bit. We'll buy Maybe not that much, actually. We'll buy we'll buy a little bit of stuff. Okay. We we don't need what do I need? We don't need any of this. We just need one of them, three of them, and two peanut butters. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. That works for me. And uh three peanut butters. Yeah. That works. And then we just do that, and then we just press play, and then we just go boom, boom, and we put everything out. Down with the big milk. Listen, dude, the, bil the Big Milk Corporation is going to take over, okay? You got you got to get used to it. I know we used to be an oil-led business, but we we've changed, okay? People change, chat. You got to get used to it, okay? This community and this this entire shop has changed, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We're just working for the Big Milk Corpos now. Bilkers? The fuck's a bilk? <laughs> Big milk making us all warm and sleepy? Yeah, true. Fuck them, dude. Make them bend over and pick up the peanut butter from the bottom shelf. <laughs> Maybe we should just do a shop where everything's on the bottom shelf. Alright, how much are we selling this for? Seven. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're ready for another big day! What's my opinion on pilk? What, Pepsi milk? I think if you mix milk with anything, you're weird as fuck. You're weird, dude. It's like, there are hidden, not there's, there's like hidden knowledge in this life that we live, right? 
that like forbidden knowledge that you're not supposed to know. Like, for example, dipping cookies in water technically has the same effect as dick dipping it, dicking it, <laughs> as dipping it in milk. And I've tried it, and it's actually kind of true. Dipping cookies and, and biscuits in water it can have the same effect as milk. But you know what? I don't want to dip it in water. I'm not fucking weird. I want to dip that shit in milk. It doesn't make a difference. You know what I mean? That's like the forbidden knowledge where, yeah, I mean, technically, you know, it's kind of the same fucking thing, right? But you no, know, you're not a fucking freak walking around dipping your cookies in water. What are you having cereal with water? Also, I'm not dicking my- I, I don't want to dick my cookies, dude. <laughs> Do you recommend dr drinking 16 bottles of water in 30 minute period? Yes, I do. I do. It's I do indeed. So, <sighs> thank you, Wasik, for the prime. By the way, I have no customers. All right, I'm manifesting customers for my for my store. When I turn around, <gasps> yo! Was that Joe Biden? Maybe. <laughs> I can't get over this. <laughs> I can't get over this. Dude, T-Man, T-Man, you, you're so bad, dude, sometimes, man. <laughs> you're like, message today. Did you choose to be a merchant at Bunker Hill? IRL set up to it. IRL set up to it. <laughs> Look at this! Why are you do- and then, and then at the end of this, you're like, everyone spam pilk. Pilk. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Okay, fuck off. Stop spamming pilk now just because the guy asked for it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dude. For the prime gaming for five months. Trendsetter for real. <sighs> when I say pilk, you say milk. <laughs> uh, it's so funny, dude. IRL set up to it, please. You guys want to look at my new camera again? I, I don't know if everyone was here at the start of screen stream, but you guys want to see what my new camera looks like that I bought that was, like, very expensive? That I can plug in and you guys can see it? I think it can work. Goodbye, chat. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Twitch chat. Look at this. You guys see that? You guys don't see this. Cam broke. Give me two seconds. Uh, where's my main camera? Look at. I don't know if you guys can see the quality of this camera. It is fuck. Okay, it pulled out. This wire is not made for it. At all, because it's not supposed to be the same camera. So I have to constantly like do this. Just to make sure it's working. Go full screen. Let's chat. Oh my god. This shit is mental. You see no difference? You should definitely see a difference with this camera. Apps of fuck it. Look at you, chat! That's you! That's you guys! I'm taking a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, smile, bitch. Go and smi yeah, that's right, smile. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. And pause. Make a pause for the camera. Pause for the, pause for the camera. Keep posing. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you look so good. You look so... Yeah. Alright, everybody. Group howl. I'm deleting all of them later, by the way. I'm deleting all of them pictures. They're all getting deleted. The, I don't want anyone- I don't want the pictures to exist. It's- it's a really fucking good camera. I'm really excited to, uh, to get a, into making videos of it now. Anyways. Actual small grocery store experience. There's fuck all on the shelves, no choice, pricey as hell, and the cashier is talking about stupid shit. <laughs> That's- <laughs> Okay, dude, fuck you, man. Fuck you, dude. Why I got those 70s glasses? Because I like them. And I want to wear them. 
Is that okay? I don't know, guys. I think Jabbo is an FBI planted AI to gather information on us. True. True. Jabbo, I'm doing homework. Can you give me calculus help? Nope. Let's take out our loan. Let's take out another loan. <laughs> and then let's, um... You guys want the milk, right? All right, here we go. Market. Products. Milk six-pack. How much do we buy? As much as we can. Big milk! Oh, boys! Placed on a shelf. <sighs> can I sell this? Where's all my fucking money on this stupid fucking fridge? When all I needed was a fucking shelf, you know? Just shelf. I'm gonna put the shelf like this because I'm. No, I'm not gonna do that. What the fuck? Two seconds, sir. Trying to fix the look of my shop. We're so back. We're so back. <laughs> <laughs> they were running over my milk! How could they? Let's mark this shit up before people have start buying it at like default value. Uh, $13 quick. I, I think I marked it up before she bought it. Are you able to have a leader? You to Would you guys shop at my store? I mean, it is like uh, very expensive, but it is that's all right. I would shop here. No. Oh my god, that felt like it should have been way more than what it was. Dude, we're making money now, boys. Our oil emporium is taking off. Hey, thanks, Kit Kat. I would rob your shop. <laughs> Thank you. You too. That's too expensive for you? Then get the fuck out of my shop, huh? How about that? How about you just don't shop here, loser? Mm, can find any crafting flower. <laughs> Not a fucking balding ass. <laughs> Thank you, kid dog. Thank you for the tier get one. The fuck out. All right, we need. I would say free oils. Let's do a little bit of this real quick. We need uh, three of these. I would say two of olive oils, three coffees. I don't know if we're gonna be able to afford them, so I'm just gonna add two coffees for now. Um, two peanut butters and one. There we go. Why would I embarrass you, Mr. T Man? Because it's all part of the fun of being on a stream. <laughs> on stream. Three hundred forty-two. I need. Hundred more dollars. It's fine. You can get an employee now. Let me get my stock up first. None of this stuff has moved up and down in price. Six dollars, seven, thirteen, three, seven. I'm embarrassed every time I stream chat. That's how it goes. I thought that was the rules. I thought that's how we did things. Ooh. If I remove the coffee and like one of the peanut butters, let's do that. No need for employees that you can get a minimum wage slave. Do I want someone like you guys in my chat? I mean, I can do that. Does anyone want to work for me at the shop? I'll pay you. Um. Yeah, I'll pay you. Not good, but I'll pay you. <laughs> I'll be like, uh, what's the name of that guy that made his own video game? Uh, that like scammed everyone that, that was a streamer way back in the day. He kind of had like a cult. I forgot his name. The World of Warcraft guy. No. A fiend. Yeah, yeah. I could be like a fiend. I can get you guys to work in my shop and not pay you. <laughs> Remember that? The guy like scammed his. <laughs> 
He had like a weird like cult where like everyone in his house like had sex with him or some shit. I can't remember what it was that happened. It was so fucking weird. Like a lot of really bad stuff came out against all that stuff. It was so fucking- He had like basically like a, like a streamer cult of like people that would circle around him. Because I think he was like one of the first, first, first ever streamers. Really. I've been having a stupid blast with this game. Me too. I'm actually enjoying it <laughs> quite a lot, actually. 73. This past experience with my old channel. No, he wasn't the guy that was in the wheelchair. That's the guy who stood up midstream. I know who you're talking about. He was, he was just like some World of Warcraft guy, wasn't he? Yes, I would recommend Hell at Loose. It's a very good game. Hell at Loose is a great game because most people playing it are actually like decent human beings. Weirdly enough, every time I play it, I have like the best experiences. You did a crypto scam? Yeah. Was it Fortnite legend Tyler Ninja Blevins? You know, say what you want about Tyler Ninja Blevins, but he didn't scam anyone as far as I remember. He didn't do any like rug pull shit, right? He was just like a YouTuber for kids. And then everyone hated him because he did, he did like, the job that nobody wants to do, but he got... And then he made a shit ton of money out of it because... He, like, he wasn't really for kids at first, was he, Ninja? He was more like a normal, like, YouTube, like, Twitch channel, and then he just became, like, the biggest Fortnite streamer. And I guess you kind of just... Whatever. Would I ever eat Subway with Pro Jared? <laughs> what the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> Oh. Would I ever eat Subway with Pro Jared? I don't think they're like- I think you're thinking of two different people, man. Isn't it Jared from Subway and then Pro Jared is the guy that had like the weird like Tumblr account? Mmm. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'll pass, man. Dude, we're making so much fucking money. Holy moly. 236 dollar dues. You know what annoys me, chat? You know the only video on Two Worlds that I, f I f that I could find? I could be wrong, but um, the only video on Two Worlds that has more views than mine is the Pro Jared Two Worlds video. <sighs> and I don't think that's ever gonna change. There's, there's something about that that just kind of sinks a dagger right into my fucking soul. Because I I, I, I I was like thinking the other day, I was like, dude, my Two Worlds video is like nearly, like I think it's surpassed a million views, right? Like, dude, fuck yeah, dude, the Two Worlds video, you know, it passed a million views, uh, mine, where is it, this one, and obviously there's the Two Worlds games done quick, and then, and then there's the Pro Jared video, um, just like right there, um, 13 years ago, huh? <sighs> yeah, GDQ technically, but... Hello, sir, welcome into my shop. Why is that too expensive? Alright, I'm changing- Should I change this to $5? Just make sure we get sales, at least. Seems like the coffee sells no matter what. I might actually put the price of the coffee up to 15 I feel like it sells, like, nothing. 13 years ago? You know, I, I, one thing I will say is I never watched those old, like... You know, like, uh, angry video game nerd? You know? Uh, or like, Pro Jared, or like even early JonTron, I never watched any of them. When it came to YouTube, I just watched like Tabuscus, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, CNanners, Vanos. Those are the- I just watched the gaming stuff that was just gaming. <laughs> I don't know. Have a summer sale, just sell everything for one dollar. You watch the Ogscast and the Ogscast, yes. Same. Oh, the coffee's too expensive. Okay, let's put it back down to 13. And this is too expensive, apparently. God. Tabuscus has gone off the rails. Hasn't he, like, completely went off the rails recently? Like, hasn't some weird shit happened? He's, like, alt-right now. Yeah. Dude, honestly, you guys haven't noticed that, like... <laughs> 
If you if you're a failing content creator, they all just become alt right. Didn't Buggy recently make like a really weird alt right tweet like lately? Fucking Buggy, the guy who was like bullied by like Reddit and like gamers nonstop, and now he's like he's slowly just becoming one of them. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't get it. I don't get it, dude. But yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like if I feel like I would just log off the internet at that point. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'm done. Just log off the internet and just resort to making videos. They're just getting old. <laughs> Buggy is not alt right. I mean, obviously, I don't think he is alt right. But, uh, I mean, there's some whistleblower shit that he's been tweeting out. And, uh, I don't know, Chad. You know, when you don't know someone, you don't know what they, they look into and what they research and what they talk about in their spare room, spare time. And then they do, do some whistleblower tweets. That's a big red flag. I actually felt bad for Buggy, to be fair. During, like, the whole, like, when he was getting, like, a shit ton of stuff. You know, like, him and Rings, Wings of Redemption and stuff like that. Like, cause they just got like a I lot of shit. Group <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I, I, f I feel for people like that when they go through stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't know. Whistleblower like Boeing? You guys think the whistleblower from Boeing was killed? <laughs> oh, do, you think, do you think he was Jeffrey Epstein? Allegedly. Ooh, $58 reduce! Thank you. Shh, Boeing is listening? Guess, guess, guess what fucking plan I'm getting on when I'm going to TwitchCon San Diego, by the way, Chad. <laughs> yep. If I don't make it, just remember me. Remember me as being the guy that was kind of funny on Twitch. As long as that, that's okay with me. I'm coming to San Diego? Yes, I'm going to TwitchCon NA San Diego. Very excited about it. I think if we do another day like this, we might be able to... Loan money came out. Ooh. Let's pay all our bills. We got $426. What do you guys want? Do you want another product to sell? We could sell... I say we sell the chocolate cook... The, cho the chocolate. Next. We save up for the, the chocolate. Someone in chat said the chocolate sells really well, so I'm going to do it. In fact, actually, I'm making the executive CEO position, dictatorship position job. And I'm going to go for a piss. And I want you guys to look at the shop while I'm there, gone. And if anything bad happens, I'm going to... Someone in chat might cease to exist, so... Chat, what the fuck? What the fuck is this, huh? What is this? Jesus fucking Christ, chat, you've been fucking me over. You're supposed to be on the tills. 
Oh my god, we're losing customers. Everyone's mad. People are getting angry at me. Uh. Everyone wants to pay in cash. I, I, oh, I think I lost money from that guy. I think I lost a dollar. Actually, no, I think I scammed him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we made so much money. Holy fuck. Wait, that actually did us some- that did us some- some good shit! Hell yeah! Good shit, chat! Good shit! Wait, one of them stole? That's not good. The big pilk pears, I agree. We need to do a- we need to do a quick... ...product refillment. <gasps> uh, do I need someone working the tills? I think we might need to start getting someone working the tills. Come here. Thank you. <gasps> I scammed him out of ten dollars. <laughs> oh no. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we need like two, two, three. Okay, chalk peanut butter. Uh, we need two, three of them. Two of them. Uh, three of them. We're at max. Okay, purchase it. Quick! You play this IRL? Uh, yeah, it's called getting a job at Tesco or Costco. Yes, sir! I'll be with you. Isn't Costco supposed to be like a really good place to work, actually, though? I've heard it's good compensation. One of the better ones. We're running this business alone, boys! You'll take me to Costco? I- I have been to a Costco before. They're quite fun. You know, my favorite shops to go to are Ikea's, not because of the- not because of the things that they sell, but because of the food. <laughs> like, well, obviously they sell the food. That's a thing that they sell, but, you know. The little, um, really cheap, like, meatballs and stuff that they sell? Oh my god. Have you ever had the Kirkland sauce? The Kirkland Signature Beans! <clears throat> that sounds like- Taste but suicide. <laughs> Dude, the management skills. Holy shit, this guy is off the fucking rails. Right, we have coffee. We need to grab a couple of them. I'd say three coffees, two peanut butters. Probably way more than that, to be honest with you. Ah! Ah! Too many fucking customers! I feel like I'm actually, like, at work. <laughs> I mean, technically I am! This is my job, what the fuck? Um... Three peanut butters, two coffees, and I'd get one set of the nice- two sets of the nice olive oil, actually. Let's say we need two of them. Uh, yep. Jabo gets a day job? I mean, my- Is my normal job not a day job? Is it not counting you guys? I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I can't see anything. I forgot to turn the lights on. I'm so sorry. World's fastest sca uh, scammer. Scanner. Scammer 2. I'm, I'm <laughs> both of them. Yeah, but you're having fun doing your job? True. Is that why, like, truck drivers play Euro Truck Simulator? Is because they enjoy playing Euro Truck Simulator, but they don't enjoy truck driving? Maybe they used to enjoy truck driving, and Euro Truck Simulator is the only time that they get to experience that youthfulness that they used to experience when they first did truck driving. So, like, it's kind of like one of the... You know, maybe that's the reason why people do that, you know? True, I didn't think about that. I don't know. It's kind of therapeutic. It is. Every time I've played Euro Truck Simulator, I find it so therapeutic. I am min-maxing! 
That's what I do. More of them. Okay. I want to try and have full shelves. Fully stocked shelves. We're going to do a full, like, stock tomorrow. Like, think about it, chat, okay? Num, 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 num. Pick up these. Thank you. $12. All right, we need two of these, two of them, one of them. So I would say we start off with these. One of these. Uh, two of the olive oils. Uh, we want two. Th the coffee's fine. The salt's fine. Peanut butter's fine. Okay, we'll just do that. Actually, let's let's try and start one coffee. Or no. Or we could just go for the license. Now nah, let's do this. Stops closed. All right, it's fine. Close up. For the day. Jabba, can you park a truck with a trailer, dude? I don't know how to drive. I don't know how to drive. Like in general, I don't know how to drive. So I don't know what you want from me. Um, it ain't happening. I've literally never been behind the wheel of a car. So, I don't, yeah. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I live in a country where I kind of don't need it right now, so. Maybe I should play Parap the Rapper, yeah. Maybe that'll teach me how to drive, you know? Does that mean you made Jasmine drive you out to go pick up the giant vault boy? Laughing emoji. Yes, my girlfriend drove me to go pick up the vault boy. I am so embarrassed by that fact. <sighs> Come on, boys, purchase up. Passenger princess. And who cares? <laughs> Chad, I had no need to, like... First of all, I come from, like, an impoverishedly poor family. I I was not taught how to drive by anyone. I was not promised a car when I would get out of school. That never happened to me. And then I started making money when I had this job. Which, honestly, I was living in Glasgow, so I had no need to learn how to drive. And now I live in London, where there's also no need to learn how to drive. I don't know. Kind of seems like... I'm fine. Jasmine's a soldier. She is. Do you know what she's doing right now? She's making bread. <laughs> she's off making sourdough bread. Lol, can't afford a car, buys a streaming PC and decent internet. I said when I was a kid. This is when I was 18. Dude, the average person at like 17, 18, 19, 20, they have like a parent that goes, hey, dude. You know, I'll help you learn how to drive. You know, I'll teach you how to drive. You'll get behind a car. Country roads or, um, I don't want to set the world on fire. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really have any of that at all. Uh, in fact, I, like, no one in my family got taught how to drive and got a car or anything like that. All my friends did. It was, there was no point. You know, it's just one of those things. And now I can, I just can't be fucked. <laughs> if I, if I go to learn how to drive, that's an extra thing I've got to do in my day. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> I'd, ra I'd rather just like chill until I need to. We're going to sell the sourdough in the shop. Yes. Come here. Thank you. I won't even make jokes about the haircut no more. Thank you. <laughs> Jab, I'm older than you and I don't know how to drive. That's fine, man. There are people older than me that don't know how to like log into a computer, so I'm okay with that. It's more like I, I will learn how to drive. It's not like I, I'm like never going to learn how to drive, right? It's more like I don't really have an urgent need to because I do have Jasmine who can drive me around. Fuck it, I'll sit. I like being a little fucking passenger princess. It means I just get to sit there on my phone and not have to do anything. It's kind of fun. How old are me? Uh, I'm 26. How old am I? How, how old are me? Did I really just fucking say how old are me? Uh, I'm 26. 
unfortunately. Driving brings freedom. That's true, but I could also um just sit in my room and play video games. You know, it's kind of fun. I like doing that. Mia 26, big man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, that's the only part that makes me want to learn how to drive, is I imagine driving's fun, you know? And to me, it's like, I want to have fun too. I want to learn how to drive. I don't want to feel like I'm being left out. But then I, then I think about all the thinking and the memory and the learning how to drive. Ugh. And then traffic and backseat drivers. Oh my god. Cause like, if I learn how to drive, I'm gonna- I, I might end up backseat driving Jasmine! <laughs> you know, that's not a good thing. What if I end up being one of the most like, annoying drivers ever? True! Alright, let's get the chocolate, boys. Give me my fucking shelf. Where are we putting the chocolate shelf? <laughs> Where do we put the chocolate shelf? I think you need to expand. I say we put it here for now. We just put it in the middle of the fucking shop. Like here, dude, fuck it, you know? <laughs> just a gig gigantic chocolate shelf. Damn, this guy's got muddy. Oh, sorry, my bad. Couldn't find Bon Papa Cake. That's me, sir. All right, third products. We're looking at cakes, but we're going for chocolate bars, right, Chad? I'm Willy Wonka. You're telling me these things sell for like a shit ton? Dude, these look like like uh, old PS1 games. It's like, no, no, no. Uh, five dollars. <laughs> <I'm gonna, laughs> five dollars for a chocolate bar, dude. To be fair, chocolate is the one thing you do mark the price up in, like insanely well, like like that in expensive shops, right? You ever try and buy chocolate in like a spa? Which are like expensive shops in the UK? I don't know if you guys have them elsewhere. God, that shit's like triple the price. Dude, he actually bought it! What a loser! I'm out here selling Mr. Beats, Mr. Breast's chocolate bar. Where are you at? Thank you. 87, okay. I'm gonna move this to like an artsy area like this. Maybe- or maybe have it here. Actually, just have it when you walk in. Right? Chocolate right there. There we go. Block the door with it? That looks alright to me. I mean, the shelf looks a bit weird, but whatever. It's fine. Do I have a favorite chocolate? Uh, when I was a kid, it used to be Bounty, but then I, I kind of got put off by, like, Coconut, coconut's kind of mid. I guess my favorite chocolate bar now. I don't know. Kinder Buenos are really good. Huge fan of Whispers. I like Flakes. Um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really a big chocolate guy anymore. I'm kind of more into sweets. <sighs> Coffee, toffee crisps. Yeah, Flakes are pretty good. I like Flakes. <laughs> True. I mean, I, I need the shop to be bigger, Kami, okay? Kinder Buenos are so good. Anything made by Kinder is, like, goaded. I don't know what it is. Kinder... Those Germans have their chocolate knocked down to a fucking tea. <laughs> that looks like, so shit from, from outside. Um, I'm just gonna chuck it here for now. Just put it here, Chad. Right? That's fine. <laughs> Does that I don't know where to put it! This thing sucks! Uh... Here? It's kind of like one of those... You know, you're... Or maybe if I move this first. Can I move... Can I move... Can I, wait, can I move the computer? Oh my god, I can. Alright, the computer can go there. Because the computer is kind of useless to us. Move the till. Be there. 
Look at that. Better use of the space, Chet. That was the problem. We weren't using, we weren't utilizing the space correctly. Put the shelves back to back. That's when we're a bigger shop, to be honest. We're not there yet. Look at that. Why is the computer got? Oh, the computer's wrong. <laughs> My bad. Interior designer. I oh, honestly, dude, I, I would be the world, world's worst interior designer. Where's the chocolate? Price is fine. Five. Price of that is 14. People are still buying that, kinda. That's good. I just opened up the day. I'm gonna move this up a bit over there. So we're out of the way. Actually, let's let's do something funky. Let's get funky with it, you know? <laughs> no, that looks terrible. Let's let's just no, let's not get funky with it. Getting funky with it is not the the deal. Put it there. Uh, do we need to stock up on anything? This is good. I get a nice little round view of my shop. I like this. Thank you. Um, thoughts on the Fallout TV show from what you've seen? Uh, I'm very excited for it. I'm excited to watch a TV show based on the Fallout games. Uh, am I worried about the show not being amazing? Kinda. But I'm not really too fussed from a personal perspective. It's gonna kinda... If I, like, after the fact, I'll probably, you know... Look at it as, like, a piece of, uh, media kind of thing and... See if I will like it, so so to speak, after the fact, if that makes sense. Like, I'll watch it, enjoy it, and then think of it as like, okay, let's criticize it. Let's see what's wrong with it. Let's see what we like about it type thing. Rather than going in with the idea of like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to start ripping this apart. Because to me, there's some things that do look kind of meh. But, you excited for the pawn parody of it? <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the pawn parody that inevitably comes out. It, didn't, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. The, my only thing is that sometimes, like, the, the power armor looks a bit matted. I'd rather it look shiny and, like, all, like, rustic, you know? Hey, what up, Skywolf? Oh, did you buy the chocolate, did you? What, is four, $4 are good enough for you now? The power armor helmet opening? I don't care about that stuff. Like, that's like tiny, mini, like, teeny weeny little, like, law tidbits that people get pissy about for no reason. Like, that, that I don't care about. I just care about the power armor looking a bit mid. <laughs> but, outside of that, it looks, it looks, the show looks really good. I'm excited for it. We'll see. You worried about the humor? Yeah, I'm kind of worried about the writing and the humor, because I hope they don't go for, like, Marvel slop, but we'll see. Again, I don't know. Silvesa Crystal! What's on the chocolate? Nothing. They got the booby lady on the on the salt. There's nothing on the milk. Yeah, like, I don't want dialogue like, did that just happen? <laughs> Am I totally speaking to a ghoul right now? Like, you know, stuff like that. I can't be fucked with dialogue like that, man. Like, I, like, okay, let me just, let me just... Okay. I like the armor. Looks alone feel one to one. I don't mm, I don't think so. I think it looks way too like paint brushed. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm excited for it either way. The fallout is real. Yeah, like I'm totally I totally did not walk into a supermarket right now. Like that type of dialogue, you know? Um coffee's fine. Shop seems fine. Everyone seems happy. Why am I so tall? Because uh, they made me really tall in this game. Can't wait for the... Dude, if they ever say the words Fallout... <laughs> if they ever say the words Fallout... We've done irre irreparable damage to the movie industry. We've done irreparable damage to all industries, dude. The music industry is so fucked. It, talent gets treated like shit. Most talent nowadays is like just plants by the industry. Attractive people that actually can sing but can't perform live or be entertaining. So the music industry is just full of people like that now. The movie industry is full of remakes and shitty films where the CEOs are just driving up price gouging. So like people can go watch a remake of their favorite film. That somehow still does really well, like the Lion King remake that did well for like no reason. 
and the gaming industry, well, we're just laying off people left, right, and center, and games are releasing with micro microtransactions like it's nothing. It's like, it, it, it's fucked. And AI is, like, people are losing jobs left, right, and center because, uh, it's speculated that AI is gonna take up to 70% of, uh, IT jobs, so, that's cool. That's got nothing to do with that. That's just a little bit of depression for you. That's some boomer energy. Dude. I wish boomers cared about m industries enough to, like, want change. They don't. I want unions in the games industry. I want unions in the movie industry. I want unions in the in the music industry. I want that shit. Boomers have never wanted that stuff. They don't care. This isn't the- this is how it used to be. This is a- this is- the industry's fucked. Not- not- I don't care about how the industries used to be. I don't give a fuck! The games industry has always been shit, kind of, to a degree. I want it to be better. Improved. So we can keep having games and movies and music and not feel- I, I don't know, terrible about it? Because what happens when the only games you can play are games like EA games with microtransactions? Hmm? There's no, like- what are you gonna do about it then? Huh? What are you gonna do about that then, huh? Just saying, chat. Just saying. EA Games. Challenge everything. Just wait till I play a 007 Nightfire on stream again. We have to listen to that every time I launch the game. Is the Fallout show based off one of the games? Uh, I'd say it's more based off of Fallout 4 than anything else, but that's visually. I don't mind it though. A lot of people are like, oh, dude, I really wish they went for the gritty Fallout feel. And I'm like, yeah, I wish they did too, but that's not the current Fallout feel. It's not been the current Fallout feel for fucking years now. Why would Bethesda willingly greenlit a TV show that is based off of the Interplay games? That'd be stupid of them. <laughs> it's true, it would be. And I would love a, f I would love a old Fallout TV show type design little layout thing, but we don't get, we're not gonna get that, so. <sighs> Boomers saw the benefits of those things, never workers' rights uh, in those industries about doing the work to uphold them. Yeah. We'll see. For some reason, I get like a good inkling for the show because it released along the same time as the, the Magic the Gathering cards, and the Magic the Gathering cards are really, really well done. What would you guys do if they brought back Frank Horrigan into the TV show? I actually wouldn't care. I don't care how they'd kill- if they brought- I don't care how they'd bring him back. I'd just be like, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Did you play Fear and Hunger? I have, actually. I've played Fear and Hunger, the first one. I played it a shit ton, uh, on my Steam Deck. I got to the point where I saved- was it Lagarde, the guy, in the prison cell? And then the game got incredibly hard and I dropped it. But I, I did play it and I enjoyed it. Very fucking fun game. Hey, what up? Evan sucks at life 262. You don't suck at life. Keep it up, Chief. You got it. I believe in you. Just change your username to something more positive. Be a positive person, Mr. Evan. Yes, I did see the Dragon's Dogma microtransactions. I'm very upset about it and I'm not going to be buying the game. I'm upset because I was waiting for the fucking game to come out too. Alright. We need coffee. We need milk. Oh, shit. Let's do a full fucking- let's do a full inventory! Alright, PB Butters came up in price. Uh, that's gonna go up to $8. Nice, good for us. Alright, let's go. We want lots of milk. I'm gonna buy free chocolate bars. I fucking hate you. Hey there, you can hear me shooting in Fallout 4 in that clip. <laughs> My my summer car vids. Uh, are you talking about modern pseudo pens? 
are you getting me? Are you getting me? Are you getting me mixed up with Martin Zero Pants, man? I haven't made a single Mice and Macaw vid unless you're talking about the old vods. Uh, to which I will say, didn't I get like incredibly drunk in like half of them? <laughs> I got like incredibly drunk in almost every single one of those vods. I've been waiting to play my Car again for a video though. Yo, bad the vods are right. I was just making sure. I saw that Madden Zero Pants released a, a spa vod video the other day. I was like, damn right, dude. Spa is totally fucking back. <laughs> More milk, boys! Put a one in the chat if you want some milk. You guys want one of these big six packs of milk, huh? I revived Spa. Me! <laughs> Me! Oh, wow. All you guys want the big milk, huh? You're just gonna fall to the industry like that. You guys know the, bilk, the big milk industry is planted, right? T typical. Got milk? Pfft. Yeah. Humans need calcium. My ass. True. I get my calcium from the sauce chat. Not cow milk, but human milk. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, my uh, <clears throat> my throat. Jabba vegetables have more calcium in them. I know. It's a really weird thing that like fucks with people's perspective of like nutritional value, right? Because people are told and have been told that calcium. The best place to get calcium is is milk and cheese. And it is a good source of calcium. But where do you think that calcium comes from inside the cow? Oh, it comes from fucking grass. <laughs> it's like converted. Um, it's like vegetables have a lot of calcium. Camera? I'm uh two seconds, Jed. My store is open. Yeah, it's kind of like how the gaming industry tries to let you know that emulators are bad. You can't use emulators, chat. Because they're bad. But what if I want to play this game that you no longer sell, mister? Huh? What if I want to play Sims Herbs, but I can't buy it anywhere legally? What am I supposed to do then? Huh? Oh. Good luck. Don't play it. It's like that. Like some companies are totally okay with like their fan bases just dissipating and not existing anymore, and that just bothers me so much. Because it's like, it's like when it comes to emulating Fallout One and Two. I feel like, oh sorry, <laughs> Fallout emulating Fallout One and Two is kind of bad, right? But emulating Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, go crazy. That game is literally impossible to find. Go nuts. Emulate the fuck out of it. I don't care. That's what I think. Anyways, this is like emulating games. If they're no longer sold by the company, you should emulate them as much as you want. Because unless you're giving me an alternative that's like I can just buy it from you and give you the money, then I'm just not going to give anyone money and just play it myself. If you make more than a million dollars in profit a year, I will steal from you and I will not feel bad about it. Gigakut. I'm okay with that mentality. Although I don't fully agree with it, I'm okay with that mentality. Because million billion dollar companies are the reason why we're all fucked. <laughs> True. Just saying. You're emulating this stream right now? Don't worry, chat. We're on we're on that little communist pipeline. I've got, I've got you guys locked in, huh? In six years time, you guys are gonna be fucking Karl Marx. All that shit. Just saying. Oh yeah, Jabo, I agree. Maybe we should emulate games, huh? Huh? A year's time. Yeah, we should probably never actually work real life jobs ever again, and everyone should just be paid to sit in their ass. I'm just, just saying. It's our stream. What do you mean the chocolate's too expensive? It's four fucking dollars, man. Chocolate's cheap. I feel like the chocolate wasn't a good play. I'm getting like one dollar increase. No, 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 I want. What's the best markup value? Nine dollars forty profit. That's pretty fucking good. Damn. Six. Too expensive for me. All right, let's change it to thirty. Actually, if we just okay, let's put everything at reasonable prices, chat. Let's see if we have a better deal. 
Let's see if we have a better day with our prices only slightly above normal. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's below usual. Is this the seven? Chabo's out there scalping chocolate bars. Actually, wait a second. <laughs> you know, like, people used to sell, like, chocolate and sweets in school. I used to do it myself. Uh, I made a shit ton of money doing it. Um, isn't that just technically, like, a shop? When when you get shops, aren't they technically just scalping? <laughs> yeah, wait, that's actually true. If I go to Tesco, they're just scalping me. What, they deserve to, to charge me double the price of when they bought it just because they're giving me somewhere to buy that product? Yeah, fuck you. Dude, I, I sold, I made like five pounds a day in school selling uh, chocolate and drinks and sweets to people. Because I used to get like um, two two bottles of Coke for a pound, two Haribos for a pound, chocolate for like 50p, and I used to take it to school and sell it all for a quid each. Like, I was pretty good. I was like, every guy sells a pound. Whatever, and then I'd make so much money. And that's how I bought my first Xbox 360, Chad. Actually, fun fact, I didn't, my mom didn't buy me my first Xbox 360. I bought it myself. Because my br my two older brothers got an Xbox 360 for Christmas, and I didn't get one. And I was so angry, I, I got into selling shit at school just to buy. <laughs> yeah, maybe I would have been a drug dealer in another life. Uh, maybe. If I didn't get this, I would have been out there, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> Did I pay a tax on it? You shut the fuck up in my chat right now. I'm just a businessman. <laughs> Quick! Tell the hit, Jamasi! <sighs> I can still become a businessman? Or do you mean a drug dealer? One of the two of them. Aren't drug dealers and businessmen the same thing? See, this guy could be selling drugs and I wouldn't have any indication of it. In another life, you're a multi-millionaire businessman? Dude, in another life, I'm a peasant in, like, 11th century England that got crushed by a horse at, like, 16 years old, okay? Because that's what probably would have happened to me. If I was born in the 11th century, I'd, I wouldn't have lasted until 15, 16, 17. And if I did, I would have died to, like, some stupid shit, you know? Like, falling down a well. <laughs> like, some kind of, like, fairy tale ending. Like, I would have been one of those kids dying to the witch in Hansel and Gretel, you know? <laughs> Little Timmy, no! Timmy, get out of the well! Alright, we're gonna do one more... We're gonna do one more quick little buy of a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, you can wait a second, so... I am purchasing things to sell. And then we'll buy... These chocolate bars do actually sell pretty well. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't... Oh my god! To be fair, how do you tell someone you're a drug dealer? Like, what do you do if you're, like, on a Tinder date, you know? Do you just call yourself a businessman? I feel like that's what I would do. I'm just actually a businessman. Oh, is it, like, a flex? <laughs> Somehow. Yeah, I actually have an unstable job that could land me in prison at any moment. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah, I guess entrepreneur works. I feel like if someone says they're an entrepreneur, that they're hiding something. I mean, that's- that is a fact. You are hiding something if you say you're an entrepreneur, dude. You probably sell weed on fucking Instagram. Or, like, you're somebody that scalps PlayStations or something, you know? You're not a- you're not, like, a 9 to 5, you know, worker. You're not somebody who's, like, managing a little business or actually doing something beneficial. You're, like- Entrepreneur is, like, a s little snaky word for doing something bad. Like drop shipping, yeah. Self-made pharmacologist. Is that a fucking thing? How can you be a self-made pharmacologist? Oh, is that like essential oils? Isn't that what Gwyneth Paltrow does? Hey guys, wanna buy my goopy products? What's going on? Uh, we're running a Tesco shop. You work in waste management? Me too, man. Don't worry about it. 
You guys are the waste and I'm the management. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's, that's the difference between me. How are you guys gonna recover from that? What the fuck? What's a Tesco? Walmart, but worse somehow. But also better. You run a daycare? I do. Don't worry, I'm fully aware of this. We all stocked up on peanut butter? Alright, good. That peanut butter's going behind the shelf with me. Alright, we finished for the day. Like, what? Well, Tesco is, like, good in the UK. It's kind of ex hard to explain. Tesco in the UK is, like, they're, they're good shops, but if you go to a bad Tesco, it's like going, going into a Walmart. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, you go into a bad Tesco, it's like going into a Walmart on drugs. But, like, the average Tesco is better than the average Walmart. I don't know if that makes We have, like, big Tescos and little Tescos, too. <laughs> it's so hard to explain. We have, like, local Tescos, which are really shit inner-city Tescos that are tiny, but they're usually very good. You have the big city Tescos, like the big Tescos, that are usually good. And then the middle ground Tescos suck. The ones that are, like, the average-sized shop. Um, but... This is hard to explain to anybody that's not from the UK. <laughs> oh my god. I'm American when I was in the UK a few years ago. I loved Tesco. Yeah, that's, you probably went to a really fucking good one. What's the shop next to yours? Well, I live in London, so I have like almost every shop available around me. It's kind of crazy, actually. When you live in London, it's insane. You go from like... If you live anywhere else in the UK, you can't get good like foreign foods. And you're stuck eating, like, you know, kind of mediocre takeaways, and, like, you, you go to Tesco and that's about it. You go into London, it's like... I could go get, like, some A-grade Indian food, A-grade Mexican food, I could go get some great Japanese food. It's fucking crazy. And some of them aren't even that expensive, it's nuts. Like, me and Jasmine found this really good cafe in the Euros that's, like, pretty cheap. Great A Mexican food in the UK? I mean, I don't know, dude, okay? I don't know. Apparently- Oh, don't you dare fucking lol Great A me, okay? <laughs> I- I heard there's some good Mexican food in, in London. I've heard that. From people who apparently know what good Mexican food is. I thought Mexican food here sucked. But someone tried- like, I can't remember who it was that convinced me. Dude, fake- okay. How about you guys come over here and I'll cook you Mexican food, huh? I- I know how to cook beans already. We have good Mexican food in Seattle. <laughs> okay, where do you think they've got better better Mexican food? Seattle or London? Okay, w which one's got better, okay? UK Chinese food is shit. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. But it's like it's like a it's like a good level of shit. I don't know how to explain it. UK Chinese food is like not Chinese food, but good. Go to a Mexican restaurant in San Diego. What do you think I'm fucking good? What do you think I'm gonna fucking do? Okay, do you think I'm gonna go to San Diego and have like fish and chips? <laughs> Could you imagine? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to San Diego. I'm gonna get like Tex-Mex fucking Mexican food. I'm gonna I'm gonna be having like South American food. Fish relays chips. <laughs> fish and fries. <laughs> Dude, fish and fries. Why does that sound so funny? Uh, whatever. Yeah, the thing is, the thing about London is we do have people from all over the world. We have really good, really good Indian and Jamaican food here. Which is quite unique. <laughs> I'm still laughing at the fish and fries. Ugh. Yeah, I know you guys call it fish and chips. I feel like most Americans are kind of understanding of what fish and chips is, right? You guys know that our chips are like your guys' steak fries. So like, when you have fish and chips, it works. It's pretty good. Can you guys stop buying the fucking salt, please? It's kind of like not a good value. Cooking stream when? I will do a cooking stream at some point. I will. Do you know why? You know I'm telling the truth. You want to see this? Fuck it, I'll show you guys. You know I'm telling the truth when I when I have this this proof right here. Where is it? I already have had artwork commissioned. Look. This is, it's pretty sick actually. 
There's already been artwork commissioned for it, but that was a long time ago. The Fallout cooking stream. It's been on my mind for so long. I've been wanting to do it. Just been so busy. And also now I don't like now I feel like I'm comfortable. I'm at that point where maybe we could make a cooking video. Like a, a non-gaming cooking video. And actually have it work. Because the channel's at that size now. So Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's probably the best play. To be honest. Do I have the Fallout cookbook? Yes, sir! I do! I bought this shit a long time ago. The official cookbook. I've been whole- I, I think it's a great idea. So, I guess, like, we have- We have the Fallout cooking video and, uh, Fallout roulette and Fallout 4 VR all achievements planned then? And Fallout London too? Hey, what up, Nuka Magics? Am I ever gonna get the chance to play anything other than Fallout? Yeah, there's a guy that made like a... Did most of the cooking book recipes. Uh, the cooking book is huge! It's like, look how many pages this is. Okay, I can't really show you because it's hardback. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of recipes in there. There's so fucking many. And most of them are pretty... Hard, I guess? Yeah, I, I can't imagine he made all of them six. He would've been there forever. Does it help tell you how to make drugs? It does. It does, yes. Um, tells you how to make jet and shit like that. Come on! Oh, there's skooma too! I think. I can't remember if there was skooma in this one. Look, um, I'm reading it now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have, we have like, Vim Captain's Blend. Uh, Vim Refresh. Sorry, it's kind of boring working this job. Skimmer would be in the Elder Scrolls one, yeah. I do remember something like that being in this, though. Stim pack. You guys ever ever want to make stim packs? Look, what the fuck is? If I get, if I get, if I go go into like Chernobyl and get myself irradiated and then try and cure myself with dark rum and Coca Cola, can I sue Bethesda if it does, if it doesn't work? Just asking. A lot of these recipes are quite good. This is a Myla Queen steak and stuff like that. We should probably do that though. I think it'd be fun. It's vodka that you need for radiation. Does it, a, does it teach you how to make a heavy receiver for a 10 millimeter pistol? Can I use my new camera? Why, so you guys can laugh at it disconnecting again? I'm so excited to use a new camera, dude. The quality is gonna be so insane. Hopefully, at least. We have so much money! I just realized! 823 dollar dues! What should we expand now? What do you guys wanna get? Hmm, management. We could get toilet paper. I think we do. I think we go for toilet paper, right? Or we can go for, for uh, honey. Oh, nah, that's about it. Alcohol and where's alcohol and cigarettes, man? God, let's go for toilet paper. We'll do that tomorrow, though. Let's go. <laughs> do you remember 2020, dude? Do you guys remember when everyone went crazy for toilet roll? Oh my god, what a crazy time, huh? 
Do you guys remember that? When everyone went absolutely nuts for toilet roll? I think I got really lucky because I got like a shipment of toilet roll in just as that happened. So I was fine. I never had like anything go wrong toilet roll wise, but I knew people that had to use like... <laughs> they had to use like towels. <laughs> Dude, that is so bad. But like, I feel like we all forgot that that happened like two, four, three, four years ago. Holy shit, I know you said two. <laughs> Yeah, dude, if you were any of those companies that sold toilet roll, you did so well. <sighs> Didn't really get here in Sweden. It happened in the UK. And it was very weird. But, like, the moment that any type of, like, crisis happens elsewhere, it kind of happens here. <laughs> like, it started in Australia, right? It did. It started in, in Australia. It got really bad in America. And it got really bad in the UK, too. Fuck me. Canada as well, yeah. Remember that guy who bought thousands of rolls and they wouldn't let him return it? It's not like toilet roll has like a shelf debt, right? <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm working a normal job, Dev. How about you uh, stop being so judgy and accept me? Hire a worker? Do you guys want me to hire a worker? We could become like a really annoying manager and shout at them all the time. I'm gonna try and mark up these prices a little bit more. I think we can undercut, overcut a bit with prices. Like this could be five, right? That does well at 13. This could be seven. Let's, I'm gonna put that to six. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, put this to 30. Yeah. Too expensive? Put it to four then, whatever. Fuck that guy for buying a shit ton of toilet roll. Yeah, I mean, do you remember when COVID started and people were buying all of the um, hand sanitizers and stuff? So that's actually fucked, because like, people need that, right? Yeah. It's so weird to think about the fact that, like, COVID was an actual world crisis. And we went through it for, like, two years. And now that it's over with, it kind of felt like those two years didn't happen. And I only remember them thinking about the fact that COVID happened. And in my mind, if I don't think that COVID happened, like, if I just, like, okay, whatever, forget about COVID existing, it's almost like I lose those years. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I mean, COVID's not gone, but it is kind of over, right? It is like we're at the point now where most of us are vaccinated or have, have got antibodies to fight it, so we're pretty much good. It's not over, but it's not like what. It's not like everything's fucking burnt to a crisp, like it was in 2020 and 2021, right? Now we're worried about wars. Yeah, true. It was an overrated cold. No That's taxes. not true at all, what but okay. Do? Tax me more. Job yeah, COVID just became a part of the, the flu season, right? Which is what it would naturally become over time. Because that's naturally how new, like, flu-like diseases or pathogens or whatever the fuck they're called. That's essentially what they become. Your mom died from COVID? Yeah, that's a big fuck you to that guy who just said that COVID was just an overrated flu. You know? That's fucked. It wasn't just a cold. Yeah, I mean, I, I got COVID, I think, three times, and it left me, like, bedridden for a week. As, like, a 25... 24, 25 year old, uh, kinda healthy <laughs> male. Yeah, I mean... I imagine if you're, like, 40, 50, 60, that shit sucked. You know? And people die from colds. Do you have like COVID denies in my chat? What the fuck is actually happening? Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. Help me. I don't think like close to 1% of the people who get a cold die from it. But okay. Let's, can we just, well, let's just move on. Cause clearly we can't handle this conversation like adults. <laughs> 
I thought we were over this whole, like, COVID was fake thing. I thought we were, like, past it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. I might, uh, I might give the long-time viewers a second a chance, but that was only the first guy you banned, Mr. Starchy, because I do like him. My father had to explain why we didn't have graves available during COVID. He had to start planning temporary graves and shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, basically. Oh, Ligma? Chat. If I had a choice, I'd give you Ligma. Straight from, from my heart. What's my supermarket name? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I can't change it. I can't change it, man. It's been stuck like this, and apparently there's no way to change it, okay? I imagine school during COVID probably sucked ass. Yeah. I imagine that probably was the worst part, maybe. Because, like, school as it is sucks. Imagine having to, like, how are you supposed to stop people from spreading? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to the great old supermarket. School was hell. Yeah. My friend, um, one of my friends was in, like, student accommodation, but all school lessons got stopped, like, all college lessons got stopped, right? So he was basically paying for, um, student accommodation and not going to college. <sighs> yeah. It was terrible. God, I was damn lucky to having my leap year during COVID. Yeah, my start of this whole thing, a lot of people don't know this, but... My year where I, I was like, full it, fuck it, I'm gonna go full into Twitch streaming and give it a year, COVID started. I got so fucking lucky. Because I was I was about to do my third year of games development, and I was gonna go to uni, uh, uni for it. But I was like, my, my Twitch was doing somewhat well, to the point where I had like 200 subs. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a leap year, I'm gonna take a year off from education, see if I can get myself up to like 600 subs by the end of the year, and see if I can do this full time. And that's when I started, and then COVID happened. And I was like, well, you know what? COVID started, I ain't going back to fucking education until that shit's done, so, <laughs> you know? At online weightlifting, we just did jumping jacks and shit on Zoom. <laughs> oh my god. Was that, did you guys actually have online fucking PE classes? <laughs> Oh my god. At home, school actually helped me because I was being bullied, and let's just say I was in a bad place and I got the help I needed. Yeah, that's good, actually. I imagine there would have been, like, some silver lining blessings of COVID, I guess. Paid, paid automatically. Alright, let's do this. Let's pay my bills. Thank you, Warbird, for the 500. I do appreciate that. Uh, I don't know what that is. The guy who posted Russian in the chat with the words, We will never forget Crocus City Hall. I'm gonna go Google that real quick. Oh my god. Ooh. Well, that's, uh... I don't know why you'd post that in my chat like that. Because... Oh shit. Is that why you guys are telling me to check the news earlier? Fuck. <sighs> yeah, that's fucked. <sighs> uh, I wouldn't... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I didn't know there was a terrorist attack that happened today. Customization is coming soon. Storage, 800. I'm gonna buy the cashier. Daily wage, $80. What? Guess what, Raven, what? Should we, should we get the cashier chat? Or should we get the... Should we expand? Let's get the cashier. Uh, you know what, let's just fucking... You know, let's just... Let's have a day with the cashier. Right? What's, his, what's your name? Why does he kind of look like, um, Rumpelstiltskin from $10 an hour? 
I'm paying him ten dollars an hour? God. Let's just buy one of everything so we- Oh, didn't I buy the toilet roll? What are we doing that? Shit! Should I fire him? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna- You know what? I want you guys to look at him. Make sure he's doing a good job, okay? I'm gonna leave you guys with the wide lens camera angle. Make sure he does a good job. I'll be back in a second, okay? Um, I want you guys to, uh... Is that guy leaving? While I'm gone. I want you guys to, uh... Uh, I want you guys to tell me who your favorite customer is. They're all complaining about the prices. What the fuck? The two exp- The salt is too expensive for you? They complain about this one. Whatever, dude. Fuck you guys. Enjoy your shitty fucking stuff. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'll be back in a second, chat. Enjoy listening to the Deus Ex Unite Core theme. Remix by Nervous underscore Test Pilot. Enjoy. Alright, I'll see you later, Turk. Oh, what's that, chat? Oh, we got a scatter. Oh, quick scatter, guys. He's here. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Is this guy good at his job? I mean, I guess he's he's doing his job fairly well. Let's have a little look around then. I guess while he does his job, we can go explore the city, right? <clears throat> God, this is the future of gaming, huh? Have you seen what a Fallout 4 1 Deathclaw looks like up close? If not, check general real quick. Okay, let me check. I'm checking general. Are you just... This is what the Fallout 1 Deathclaw looks like up close? Holy shit! God! I've never... Is this from the manual? Yeah, it is, right? That's crazy. That thing looks horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> can I go up this? I want to see what, what I can climb up. Hey, what up, ZX? Zarenez? Zar... Dude, that fucking name. Why do you... Why do people have to have X's in their names? Huh? How are you supposed to pronounce X at the start of a name? Zayan? Dude, please. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter, for the tier one. I do appreciate it. Where's my shop gone? It's over here, right? <clears throat> how, are we, how are we doing sales-wise? We're looking pretty good. Yeah? We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. The manual has a ton of cool things. Yeah, I'll go check it out. I didn't know. Thank you, Hunter, for the tier one. Xylophone. Your name is quite simple. Yeah, Valkyrie. 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 Unlock this fucking door. All right, let's get um, let's get the uh. Do 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 do. We said I said we were gonna do the um. It wasn't chocolate toilet paper right? Oh god. We're gonna have enough for this. Ooh, where are we putting the toilet paper stand? Uh. Here. <laughs> Dude, you didn't have the tier one. Thank. You. Maybe we. It's time we do the double backs. We, we have to do the double backs now, Chet. It's kind of cringe, but we have to. Oh shit, I fucked up big time. We're doing this midday, it doesn't matter. 
Actually, you know what? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we gotta put this like here. This could look so bad. This is how you compact a store. It'll work though. Block the bathroom? Dude. <laughs> Do you see them f stealing from the, the desk? It was floating into their pockets. What the fuck? I think they can still access it as long as they can get into the square, so we're good. Like that. Alright. Does it look good to you guys? <laughs> it looks so much worse. It looks so much worse. <laughs> There's no way. No? This looks like shit. This looks so bad. One sec. Let me try and fix this a little bit. I think I can make it look a little bit better. Sell condoms. We haven't even unlocked alcohol yet, okay? Move this over. Move this over. I think we might have to move it over a little bit more. Thank you, Warbird. Yeah, we do. Turn the lights on. <laughs> should I give this guy a living wage, by the way? The guy that works for me? Or should we just give him minimum, minimum wage? Like... I'm kind of tempted just to give him minimum wage. It is it, like, we're in a video game, right? There's no morals here, right? I don't care. Low his wage. Yeah, maybe I should just fire him. Don't pay him. Yeah, maybe we should just don't pay him. True, actually. I uh, don't, don't dislike that idea. Move this chocolate over. All right, now this looks like a shop, right, Chad? <laughs> this looks so mid. Ah. <laughs> uh... We're kind of out of products, too. I need to buy way more. Salt! How are we nearly out of salt? The fuck is going on? Alright, let's just go next day. Alright. Rent? We, we made a bit of money. He's- I mean, he's turned up early. He's actually doing- he's, he's here for the job. Which means I, I kind of think he cares, you know? So that's good. How much are we selling this toilet roll for? Probably a good amount. Two hundred? <laughs> Come on, dude. Please, thank you. Gouge the TP. Market price fifteen, seventeen dollars. Easy. Six dollar profit, that's actually pretty good. Holy shit. Alright, so we probably need oh, like four of these. So four greens. Let's do... I've not got a lot of money, so let's try and do as much as we can. Uh, four of you. We need a... Coffees are so expensive. To be honest, the coffees are our real money makers, though, so let's just do that. Pay them in oil and coffee. Do you guys remember when this was a, an oil-only business? You guys remember that? Remember when we only sold oil here? Back when things were good. Hey, Spoofy. Hopefully today gets better. Sell vehicle oil. <laughs> the whole plan is to only sell oil jet. That's the whole plan, but we're not at that point yet. We have to sell little byproducts to get there, you know? Let's open up the shop for the day. So we have coffee. That's not coffee, that's chocolate. Sorry. We have oil, vegetable oil. We have... Nice little doo-doo, dug-dug toilet rolls. Nice, good to know. Coffee, as well. We're running out of salt with the booby lady on the front. You guys see that? Uh, peanut butter looks to be quite stocked up. Hmm. Milk's quite a money maker too. <sighs> Is this your job? I'm sorry, Spoof Man. <laughs> hey, what up, Nest? Hey, what up, One Pixel? Thank you, Warbird, for the community gift sub, by the way. And Ziaranus, thank you again. Hope you're enjoying the stream. We're gonna use that peanut butter. Milk pack six is too expensive for me. What the fuck? Oh, market price is quite low. Let's bring that down a bit then. That's too expensive for you too. Is this guy just broke? Okay, should we undercut or overcut, Chet? 
I'm thinking about it. What if we undercut products now? Like, we, we don't need to ma maximize our profits. We get customers in. Or we overcut. And, just... and that guy kind of looked like Joe Biden, to be fair. So, I mean, no, he didn't. Never mind. Overcut? Do the 99 trick? I'm not doing the 99 trick. Because then our profits are going to be fucked. Okay, I don't want to do the 99 trick. The clerk is quite slow. Get loyal customers. What the fuck's a loyal customer? Are you guys technically loyal customers? <laughs> to the stream? <laughs> I guess. $11 for that. Make sure we sell the milk. We're good. No, I don't pay. True! That's true, Clem. That's true. The cashier has to be stealing. Do you want me to fire him? I'll fire his ass so fast. I swear to, I swear to God, I'll fire him. I'll fire him. I mean, it's kind of cool having him do this for me. He's not that bad, right? Check the cameras. <laughs> if only that was like a part of the mechanic of this game. I think the game would be a little bit better. We could grow the, sh the shop a little bit, but fuck me. It looks like you can do so much in this game. But also it takes ages to get into it. What I might do is I might play this game off stream. He looks so depressed. I might play this game off stream and um, see how far I can get into the game. Did they just appear out of my sh out of the shop in Finnair? I swear to God. Yeah, we'll do like a little bit of off stream farming. I'll I'll get up to the point where we have like eight clerks working for us, dude. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. <laughs> Why not stream when you play? Sometimes I want to play games at night when I'm chilling and not talking and I don't want to be on camera. Like, I want to be like this. Not saying- Dude, if I'm sat here playing this game in my own time, I'm like this. You know, I'm like on my phone. Like, do you want me to stream that? Do you want me to stream that? Who the fuck's gonna watch that? Oh, dude, like, wouldn't you, you'd be like, I'd watch it, Jabbo, me. I'd watch it so much. And then you'd get, you'd get bored of it after two seconds. I can't even get you guys to watch the stream for, like, the entire time when I'm sat here trying to be entertaining. What if I'm just sat there chilling? Let's add that. Uh, we don't need any toilet roll. I think we're quite... What else are we quite low on? Coffee, and uh, we're always low on coffee. Peanut butter is selling really fast. <laughs> I'm trying to be. <laughs> Shut up. Self-deprecation is bad for your health. Everything is bad for your health. True. True. Name me one thing that's just good for your health, except from drinking milk and water. You heard of the promotional Fallout game, Vault Dash? No. Is that an actual thing? <laughs> Vault Dash. Oxygen is good for you. Can't you die from having too much oxygen? <laughs> Checkmate, atheists. Milk. Hey, no worries, Sky Wolf. You're good. Zombie cafe. I remember there was an old um. There was that one. What was it? Every brick in the mall game that I played. That was kind of like this, but top down. A little bit like RimWorld. That game was sick. I need to play that again at some point. Right, our store is fully stocked up. Kinda. We're looking pretty good. What do we want to sell next? We could have a- we could sell anything! Try to think though, we don't really have much. Do we- do we want to go back to selling normal stuff? Oh, just pasta. Oh, We should so- we should sell pasta. We should totally sell pasta. Shelf, I've already added it to the cart. We're getting pasta. <laughs> sell weed. <laughs> if only. 
put this one like here. I can't sell weed. I, I don't know where to get it, dude. Past is like the next best thing, okay? Moving away from oil was a mistake. <laughs> dude, this business has changed. We should have we should have sticked into the oil business. Uh, eight dollars. No, no, no. Let's go to seven. Keep working, big boy. That looks so ugly. <laughs> Just know where to get weed. Okay, where do I get weed? Is it one of these dark alleys? I'll go look around. Chat, if you see a weed, if you see a weed dealer, just shout at me, scream. Any weed dealers? One sec, let me just put like creepy music on. What's some creepy music? Uh, Banjo Kazooie, Scary Woods OST. I forgot what it was called. This one. Chat, where am I? I thought I was. <laughs> Is this where you buy weed? Hello? Food and groceries, no. Anyone selling weed? Chat, would you walk down this alley in real life? <gasps> would you walk down this alley? Oh my god, s s glitches. Ooh. Fuck you. You've worked down- you've walked down worse streets. <laughs> Hello? I don't think I can buy weed in this game. I think you guys are lying to me. That was the weed car? I bet the cars just go around in a circle. Can I leave you guys standing on one of the cars? Just like leave- leave the stream on overnight? <laughs> I can't even stand on the car! What the fuck is that?! <laughs> I push me! I think I've glitched the car. How? Oh. Okay, let's go back to the shop. Whee! <laughs> I fucking hate this guy, dude. I can't keep looking at him. He pisses me off. Alright, next day. Day 22. We've actually survived quite long. Quite long, actually. The milk six pack has went down in price. Ooh, I think that might be good for us, actually. All right, start the day. We have 200. Ooh, we have things we can sell. We're selling spaghetti, right? The music fits so well with the game. Yeah. I think he's supposed to be one of the NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> why is that? Why is he so so small? What the fuck? Can I, like, get in people's faces? Why is everyone so small? Wait, have I been tall this entire time? <laughs> Joe Biden! Yo, Joe Biden! What do you have against small people? I mean, if, you, if you're under the six feet tall, are you really, like... Is there any point being, you know... What's the point, dude? Let's buy another shelf. I want to move even further away from oil. Fuck this oil sim. We're, we're, we're going to start selling actual products, Chad. What should we sell on this shelf? Because we have one... Oh my god, our peanut butter shelf is nearly out. <gasps> oh my god! Our toilet roll shelf! Shit. Oh, we're so low on money now. Um... TV? Water? Should I just sell water? Is that kind of boring? Don't say that small people matter. Dude, I... 
I wouldn't dare be a small person. <laughs> Imagine being let small than six feet tall. <laughs> Couldn't be fucking me. Water with oil in it. Yes. The future of oil. Cake? We can start selling cake. Let's go for the products. All right, chat. We gotta pick one. We could sell bleach. I know that's what you guys want to get. You guys want to get the bleach? I already bought it. I already bought it. I already bought it. Our finest beverage, sir, <laughs> comes in a nice shifty plastic bottle. Yes. What is our sell value? Five dollars fifty. Oh my god, this one's so hard to do. Push down the peanut butter with bleach. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. A good one. It's too expensive. I mean, this is fair. To be honest, that one should be five. I don't know why I'm selling it at that price. It should be six, too. Alright, looking good. Make it really cheap. Make it free. What about the weed? Uh, there is no weed. I don't know what, what to tell you guys. Why am I supposed to find weed, man? See if I can glitch out of bounds. <laughs> Play the weed shop sim? If I keep expanding it, it goes into this building, right? Like, this building eats this one. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can start doing, like, uh, the, the better pricing. But, I mean, our prices are pretty good right now. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Hmm. Can it go up higher? I don't think so. So, I feel like this is a game you, you put, put like 30, 40 hours into. So, are we just gonna sit here and play this for 30, 40 hours? And watch this guy just... This, <laughs> you're just gonna watch this guy work! We went from me working to this watching this guy work. Imagine like your boss is just stood on your desk like this. All right, you better you better scan them. You better good shit, dude. Keep scanning those products. Oh, she bought the ple the bleach and the coffee. A nice combination, milady. Nice. Am I winning? I don't know. Sexy Japanese meat. I haven't got a clue. Wow. That's so cool, wow. Did you ask him about the membership plan? Did you ask him about the the email list? Did you ask, did you ask him? <laughs> I feel like that would be the worst part of doing a job like this. Wouldn't even be the people, it would be the manager telling you about like, did you, did you make sure to ask him about the emails? Did you get the emails? Did you get 20 emails today? Oh my God, I would hate that dude. Like the micromanager type stuff. Like sometimes you gotta micromanage people. That's fair. But like, no one is like day to day fucking like you know. Hey, do you want to make? Do you make sure you get more people signing up to the emails? Every time I go into a shop and they do that, I'm just, I get so annoyed. <laughs> I don't want an email. You know, I don't. I don't want to like get an email about like fucking beauty products. Come on, guys, keep buying. Buy more products. Let's get, let's pop up on some of the, let's get a bit of, a bit of, ooh, we can sell candy, Chad. You want to sell some candy? I don't know why I said it like that, but I do want to sell some candy. Milk six pack, let's get three of them. That price is down right now. We got some spaghetti. Two of them. Two olive oil, let's buy that. And let's see if we can get some of our other stuff. Like the peanut butter, peanut butter. Come on, make a sale, please. Make a sale so I can buy this. Thank you. Oh yeah, the lights are off my bed. <laughs> Alright, stuck up time. Peanut butter. 
Progress must be the same. Oh, was I clicking on the, on the other one? Behind it? Where's the milk? Give me the milk. We have like 10 questions to ask before you get to buy the TV. Is that what happens when you work in, in tech? You have to ask people like questions about like... What do you mean like questions though? Like... To get them to sign up for stuff and all that? Dude, I would... I would hate that. Every customer? You have to be like, hey man, you wanna sign up for this thing? No, I don't, please. I just wanna buy this TV. Okay. But, are you sure? I've kind of been told to. Want one or two year warranty? I mean, that's not so bad. Like, the warranty thing, right? Most people are gonna get warranty. The, but, like... <laughs> Do you want free as warranty on that micro USB cable? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that guy's been- you've- you've clearly been pissed off by someone trying to sell you a warranty at some point. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. What are you gonna watch on this TV? What is it, like a legal requirement to tell them? Yeah, so uh, before you buy this product, uh, what legally are you gonna buy, uh, watch on this TV? Pawn. Hmm. Would they be allowed to sell it to you? Buy more of these. Oh, it's closed. Oh. How's the supermarket going? We have made absolutely gigantic profits. We are now extremely rich and life is great <laughs> the 4k tv see that's the thing i think i don't know if you guys i don't know but like the hit there's something about like super hd that's like mm, when you see too much detail you know what i mean like if you ever like were around for the switch from uh not standard hd standard definition to hd there was a lot of, like, people getting used to being able to see, like, people's pimples on, f on TV and stuff. Because before that, people weren't really used to it. And then, you know, HD came around. And it was like, oh, dude, yeah, you can see people's faces. And then you kind of make the jumping conclusion because it makes sense. Imagine you, you had, like, a 360, 480p TV. And then, like, HD comes around. That'd freak you the fuck out! And I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, 4K TV, dude, watching stuff like that. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> what a, dude, this supermarket's gonna take over the world. Just you guys wait, huh? It, criticizing my supermarket. Couldn't find flour. You haven't been so hyped as a kid watching the confetti in Eurovision? I think the one thing that, that really got me hyped about HDTV was video games. Because I'd played, I usually had played all my games, even, even my 360 games. I played them on a standard box CRT TV. It was a cause, I, I remember I had this, this cause TV that was a DVD and the DVD tray was his mouth. And that's the TV I had for, for since I was like, eight until I was like 13 uh, I had that TV and then my friend got a proper nice 45 inch plasma TV in his room which I thought was stupid and he gave me his like 27 inch HD TV and that was I, I was like the only guy in the house to have one and it was so fucking cool and like every free six I remember playing reach on that thing and I, I just remember being like dude I can see the detail it was crazy uh, but yeah I remember that shit that's the the jump from standard to HD that blew my mind. The 360 never came high def. You could have the 360 on 1080p, or like 720p. Yeah, yeah, you could. It was the, the, dude. The 360 was HDMI. What the fuck? <laughs> but I remember I used to have the the 360 with the with the the Scott lead, with the the uh, the red, the orange, and the white lead, uh, the free cables where one of them's. One of them was uh, visual and two of them were audio. I remember that's what I used to play on most of the time until I had HD. Launch HDMI? Yeah, 
I didn't really... No, I played I played my 360 on standard definition for like the first couple of years anyways when I had it. I didn't get a HD TV until I was like 13, 14, so... AV cable? Yeah. Dude, I, 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 I kind of miss like... That that age because you know you you'd play games and I I you know it's conceivable that I played for the entirety of two worlds and 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 enjoyed it right when you play it on like a TV screen that's like half the size of this monitor that you're looking at right now like you the monitor you're looking at right now take the take that shrink it down and then blow it back up again and that's what I played two worlds on and it looked it looked great. Did I remember? Yeah, it was like Channel 5 was how you played video games. <laughs> yeah. You're watching me on a 55-inch TV? Why the fuck would you do that? What, dude, why would you have a TV that big? What the fuck? Toilet roll! 500 more bits if you kill Snuffles. I'm tempted. Give me a minute. I'll do it. Just for you. No, please, Mr. Streamer, don't do it. Fine. But it's 500 bits, Chad. That's not what we're playing today. Ignore that, by the way. <laughs> uh, do I have a save? I don't think I do. What is this save? Alright, chat. What do I have? I'm killing him, by the way. You guys can't stop me. He's dead. I kind of want to dynamite him. Oh, her. Sorry. <laughs> you dirty coward. Long live the what king. The Run! Get inside! Fight me. Anyways, we're playing this game. <laughs> Why does this game look way worse now? <laughs> this game looks like shit now. This game looks like shit in comparison. Oh my god. It really spin the wheel. Oh. I will. I'll murder any fucking rodent for 500 caps. Uh, bits, uh, 500 pesos. I appreciate it. And, Zyaranus, thank you for the 500 bits, too. Alright, chat, I think, uh, we gotta kinda get the rundown of the game today, huh? You guys enjoying this? Watching me fucking stack shelves? <laughs> Maybe we should do this IRL for once, you know? Hey, chat, you, you wanna watch me work at Tesco for a shift? But, um, it's time to leave my job at the supermarket. You know what? I think we move on, chat. Onwards to greener pastures. Goodbye, supermarket. I miss- I'll- I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'm kind of bored now. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm going back. I miss it. I'm going back, boys! 
I I miss my job. We're going back. I, I yeah. I got to the greener pasture. That shit sucked. Supermarket. Kind of looks like a Five Guys, or like a Burger King from here. You know. You know what I mean? I'm a workaholic. What if I fire that guy? That works there. You know. Oh, sorry, the lights are off. My bad. My job is to turn on the lights now. <laughs> Can I overlap these items? What if I make it super bright? One sec, actually. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. <laughs> Can I do this? The light manager, yeah. Yeah, shops are like really insane LEDs are the worst. Yeah. One second, I'm trying to... <laughs> it just doesn't... It, it looks just... It just looks like it's overly lit. That's all. It looks shit now. All right, whatever, dude. I'm saving it. I'm saving it here. That was a good stream. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was even this... Oh, I was going to play... What was the other game I was going to play? I had another game in mind. I'm not jumping out of my chair. I'm not. You can't make me do. We can't make me jump out of my Jolo chair, dude. Is my shop on the Citadel <laughs> Fuck you, dude. What's my schedule? Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, is, and then bonus Fridays. Fridays are gonna be a bonus. Uh, like today. Uh, basically today I was supposed to like chill. Uh, and stuff like that. But Jasmine was working, so I might as well stream. You know. So that's what most Fridays are gonna be like. Either that or editing. So, which means no stream.